早上好，早上好，早上早上好 ，Good morning。Good morning, hello. Yeah, hello. 我中我的中国名字是周天才。啊、uh, ，My English name is the Doctor Bancha from Thammasat University、uh -huh. Hospital. <laughs> so we have the team. Ah,、uh, uh, this is our、uh, Professor Adinan and Pira Wood. Ah,、uh, this is our team from Thailand. So thank you for the kind invitations to Ningbo. Our first time to this city. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. That this is Ben Chao Jiao Shou, first time to Ningbo. Thank you very much for the invitation. He also brought two colleagues to join him. Ah, then Ben Chao Jiao Shou's Chinese name is Zhou Tiantai. Ah, this name is good. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Very good translate. So we start now, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we start now. So I think first we are going to the very simple. Anatomy and portal placement, but this is very important for the arthroscopic surgery. 好，那我们就开始了。先讲通道的设置，这个是非常重要的。Okay, 之前好的。So this is the left knee. 现在看的是左膝。Okay, so you look from this camera. Okay, this is the kneecap patella. 髌骨。髌骨是 patella 是吗 ？Patella, yeah. Patella. Okay, and this is patella tendons. 髌腱。Okay, tibia tubercle. Okay. So this is the lateral joint line. You can feel by the lower pole of the patella in knee ninety degree. 然后这边是关节线，关节线怎么找呢？就是对着髌骨下棘，然后往外啊。Very important. 昨天那个刀呢？昨天那个刀很好。Yeah. Very important that you have to have. Knee ninety degree for the knee surgery because in this ninety degree is our our starting of the surgery. 那开始的时候一定要摆到屈膝九十度位来找关节线，还有找这个呃解剖标志，很重要。屈膝九十度。Okay, the first landmark is the lower pole of the patella. 那先要找到髌骨下棘。Okay, you draw the line. This line will be on the soft spot. 然后在屈膝九十度下面呢，一个髌骨下棘画一条横线，啊，中间就会遇到一个软点。Yeah, we lucky this this patients we can feel the joint line very well. Okay, so this is joint line. Yeah. 软点还有这条线就是关节线，非常好找。So as we know, we have some posterior slope. 而且髌呃髌骨是有后倾。Yeah, maybe it's valley from five ten degree. This is a normal tibial slope. 自然的后倾角呢是五到十度。Okay, the first portal is the anterolateral. 我们先做一个前外通道。I prefer to put it just next to the patella tendon. 我的习惯呢是会把前外通道就定在啊、uh, 挨着髌腱的地方。And in the line of the joint line. 当然要在关节线上。Okay, very important. If you put it too far, you cannot see the notch very well. 因为如果太远、太靠外的话呢，这个通道就看不清科肩窝了。Okay, so and then you draw this line. This line is the the line of the joint line. 好，重重复一下，这一条是关节线。And then in you intersect with this LCL. 那在外侧呢，它是会啊跨过外。Very simple to find LCL is you find the fibula. 那 what LCL 是怎么找呢？就是先找到腓骨头。Okay, and then put your finger like this. Ah, 对着腓骨头，手指这样摆一下。Parallel the fibula shaft. 这个手指的朝向就是呃腓骨的方向。Okay, this is the LCL. So just behind the LCL, and this is biceps. 所以呢 ，LCL 就是在呃腓骨的延长线。有第二支笔吗？啊，它后方呢就是呃股二头肌。Yeah, this is bicep femoris. So you see this triangle. This is a three-dimensional. This triangle is the soft spot. We call the posterior lateral soft spot. Here is a weakness. We call it the soft spot. We use this many times for the PCL surgery or posterior lateral surgery. We use this many times for the PCL surgery or posterior lateral surgery. We use this many times for the PCL surgery or posterior lateral surgery. We use this many times for the PCL surgery or posterior lateral surgery. We use this many times for the PCL surgery or posterior lateral surgery. We use this many times for the PCL surgery or posterior lateral surgery. We use this many times for the PCL surgery or posterior lateral surgery. We use this many times for Okay, you can see here this soft spot. This is just behind posterior condyle, above the joint line, behind LCL, and in front of this 
bicep femoris. This is a posterior lateral soft spot. 这个后外角软点呢，就是位于 LCL 和股二头肌的交界的这个三角的角的范围里面。Okay, we use this for the posterior lateral joint surgery, like you do PCL, you do public disc reconstruction. Also, you doing the posterior meniscus repair using this posterior lateral portal. 那如果做一些 PCL 的手术，呃，过肌，呃呃，重建，呃，还有后脚的，还有板后脚的手术呢，就会用到这个通道。Yeah, very important because the knee gets swollen. You need to palpate first and mark the point. If you didn't do that, you do it later. The problem is you cannot feel anything. <laughs> 这个标记呢，一定要在关节之前画好，因为进关节之后呢，因为冲水的问题，关节很快会肿起来，肿起来之后你就摸不清那些标记了，所以一定要进去之前画好。Okay, so this is a lateral side. Another thing is you extend the knee. You extend the knee, and then you can feel this is the upper part of the patella. 好，班 ，Doctor Ban Chao, your head, please. My head. Okay. Okay. Ah, ah. Then is the pubic side. Okay. So this line, the upper pole patella, you going down. This is the superior lateral portal. This is ah, upper right side of the portal. It's about about two finger breadth from the top of the patella. It is in the pubic side, down to the right side of the patella. So this portal is very useful when you going to the super patella pouch. Or you want to put your camera and look in the suprapatellar pouch on the anterior lateral or the gutter of the knee joint, right? 这个通道的用处呢，就在于呃，看这个病病上囊，还有这附近结构呢，会用到。Okay, so the lateral side we will have one, two, three. 那这样就介绍了外侧的三个通道了。Okay, now coming to the medial side. 好，接下来我们看左膝的内侧。Okay. You can see very well the camera. 好，我们镜头调一下。Yeah, okay. So for the middle side, same things. You can feel this lower pole patella. 内侧呢，同样的，先找到髌骨下棘。Okay, and just next to the patella tendon, this is the anterior medial portal. 然后挨着髌腱就找到了前内通道。I prefer to put it close to the patella tendons. 我的习惯呢是让它比较靠近髌骨下棘和髌腱。And in the line of the joint line. 而且要沿着关节线。Very important. 这个定位非常重要。Because if you put it too high or too low, you cannot make the meniscus surgery. 呃，这个点呢一定要选在关节线之上，因为呃偏上和偏下都没办法进行半月板的操作。Okay, so. This is, and then you palpate the joint line here. You feel, you see my finger. I pun palpate the joint line. And you look at here, right? It's like the posterior slope of the joint. See, like you do joint replacement. You need to see the posterior slope, right? 那画了关节线之后呢，就看出了胫骨的后倾角。这个跟人工关节置换的时候就非常重要，要看到后倾角。Then you draw this line. Along the joint line, right? 一直要把关节线画出来。And then you go to this posterior medial. 然后呢，就到了后内角。Okay. You can feel this condyle. This is the condyle of the femur. 后内角呢，首先能够摸到股骨的内侧髁。Okay. So from this condyle, just behind the condyle. 就在髁后脚的地方。Okay. Just behind the condyle and about. One centimeters from this joint line, this is our posterior medial portal. 在股骨内科后脚关节线以上一横指的地方，就是一个通道点。Okay, but keep in mind, on this side there will be vessels here. 注意，这里呢是有呃动脉呃血管的。Just so this is the saphenous vein and saphenous nerve. You can see this line. 首先呢，是有引静脉和引神经，是这一条线上。And when you do this portal, careful, do not cut these vessels. 所以呢，做这个呃内后内侧的通道，要注意避让这些神经血管结构。Okay. So when you go to posterior medial, I recommend you to use the tran illumination. 
。那做开通这一个通道的时候呢，我建议大家是把镜头还有光源放在光节里面去透这个点。Yeah, you can see the vessels from the trine illumination. Ah,、uh, from 里面透呢，就能够看到血管的走向。Yeah, and you can avoid this injury when you see the vessels. Okay. 避免这个引动静引静脉和引神经。Okay, good. So that that is、uh, our main portals for the knee surgery. Okay. 啊，这也是很重要的一个通道。There are also some additional portal. 啊，等一下。Like sometimes you do the ACL avulsion. Maybe I need another portal from the center. That 就需要开一个中中央中线的通道 Yeah, we call this a transpatellar tendon portal. 这个呢是筋并腱通道 Yeah, it's good for the suture tattoo, suture management. 这个通道的主要作用是管理缝线 Like the shoulder surgery. <laughs> yeah, we need three, right? 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 Yeah, we need three, I always use these two portal because most of our work is in the notch. In ACL, PCL, we need to put the portal close to the center. Lisa. 好的，那刚才介绍了所有呃比较常用的通道的定位，接下来呢会进关节，然后做一系列的操作。那么在通道使用方面呢，呃，其中。前内、前外这个通道是所有呃关节、膝关节手术都要用到的，无论是 ACL、PCL 还是半月板。啊、yeah. 呃，因为这个时候我们要进科间波去操作，所以一定要前内和前外通道。Yeah, and the meniscus surgery, my portal need to be on the joint line, on the exactly on the joint line. So this is the joint line portal. So I rarely change. I always use this. Two portal, medial lateral for everything, ACL, PCL, and meniscal surgery. I have no problem at all. Okay. Okay. Because my lateral portal and lateral portal are all on the joint line. That meniscal surgery requires the joint line. That portal needs to be on the joint line. So I rarely change. Okay. 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 Root repair. I will have another portal here. We call mid medial portal. 那如果是对内侧半月板做一个根部修补呢？我还可能会需要呃用到这个内侧的中央通道。Yeah. So we can show you later how to make this, but we need to look from inside. But it's approximately about midway between front and back. This is we call mid. Medial portal for meniscus root repair. 中呃内侧中线通道就介于呃前后两个通道之间。不过具体呢，我也是用镜头在关节内去透皮来设置的。Okay, good. But I think we maybe we harvest the graft first. It's not swollen. We can okay see better. Okay. 那下一步呢？我们打算去基建。I think I think we go to a portal. For for the harvesting first, okay. 取基建，因为关节现在还没有水，还没肿的。Okay, so the next step is we will harvest the uh, uh hamstring. 接下来我们取过绳基建。You need to know that there is another branch from here. Okay, this is a saphenous nerve. Saphenous nerve, we have two branch. One branch is two here. Can see well. Just flip the knee a little bit. Flip the knee a little bit like this. Okay, good. So, so this is a saphenous nerve. Saphenous nerve will go this way. Can you see well? 那引神经呢？它是有走向，是有一些变异或者是分叉的。Another branch to this side. 一般是分这里两两叉。We we call this the infrapatellar branch of saphenous nerve. 是引神经的并下肢。Another branch is a sartorial branch of the saphenous nerve. 另一只呢是缝降脊椎。Okay, so if you harvest the graft too high, or you make it vertical, you will cut the graft, you will cut the nerve, you cut the nerve. 所以我们取件的切口
如果是重切或者说有点移位的话，就可能会损伤到眼神经。Or you make the patellar tendon harvesting every time the patient will get numbness, hundred percent. 而且呢，这也解释呃了为什么有的病人用取了病腱的话，术后肯定会有呃皮肤麻木，就是因为这个神经。Yeah. Or you do the joint replacement, total knee replacement. The patient also have numbness because you always cut this nerve. 又比如人工膝关节置换，要做大切口，也是会走到这个眼神经的分支，也会导致术后皮肤麻木。Okay, good. So the ways to avoid this injury of the nerve is that your incision should be lower and transverse. Will be safe. Okay. 那怎么避免眼神经的损伤呢？两个要点：第一呢，切口要偏低；第二，切口要横向，不要纵向开。So our trick is this is a landmark, right? This is the landmark of the knee joint. You go about three finger breadth. 然后沿着关节线往下三横指。So this is a study from uh our our teachers, Dr. Surya Phong. He found that if the pain is 170, 170. This three finger bed, you will get the right position of the of your hamstring. Ham hamstring will be here. 那过绳肌腱的位置呢，大概是在三横指以下。这是有呃研究依据的，就是他刚才讲的那位学者的文章。Okay. Another study from Rama Tibadi、uh, Hospital, they found that the most prominent, this is most prominent, the most prominent point. You just next to most prominent point, you can find the Hamstring. 那另外一项标啊标本标志的这个解剖研究呢，就是说着点呢可以从啊胫骨最高点这个胫骨结节往内大概一横指，就是呃过绳肌腱的指点。Another way is to palpate. Okay, it's always in the line of this of this line. Probably the Chris, you going down this line, it should be here. Okay. 那刚才介绍两种方法。第三种方法呢，就是沿着呃锅肌这样子呃这个线。So this like three intersection, one, two, and three. Okay, three intersection. 所以三个方法都可以找到锅绳肌腱的指点。And if the patient very skinny, you can feel the tendons. 而且今天的标本非常的瘦弱， okay. 所以这个肌腱都能摸到。So yesterday we did the live surgery. Uh. Chang Chun, yeah, mm -hmm. Chang Chun, and there's a questions asking about how to avoid the injury of this nerve. So many doctors have this problem after the harvesting, the patient complain numbness on this area, right? So this is to avoid put it lower and make it transverse, and I will tell you the trick later. 那昨天在长春做手术讲课，也有医生问到说怎么去避免曲腱造成的皮肤麻木。那我给大家的建议呢，就是两点：一个呢，切口要偏低；第二呢，切口要横向，不要纵向。Okay, good. So we start doing that. Most of the time, we will put the patients on the lap like this, and I sit. This way. Next is to do the exercise. Then, at that time, the patient is better sitting. Sit and then let the patient sit on your back. Okay, good. So bend the knee this way. Okay, like that way. Okay, let's turn the head down. So the incision, most of the time, we just make a very small incision, like two centimeters. That's enough. Okay, but today for the two centimeters. Okay, but today for the Live demonstration. I will put it bigger. 那今天为了方便演示呢，我会把皮肤切口特意做大一些。你们，妹妹啊，回来了。Okay. So like this way, okay? And then, 那我 ，you use this scissors, okay? Okay. Good. And then your hand lower, please. Okay. Lower, please. Oh my God, a lot of restrictions. So then put your finger in the skin. This is safe. Finger. Finger. Really safe because you just open the skin and then put your finger. You will not injure the nerve. Okay. 在皮下这样子拨是不会损伤到神经的。Okay. Good. So now you can feel the tendon is here. 
那一边播是能够摸到呃过程肌腱的。Yeah, okay. Yeah, very nice. Here you can, you can you see my finger? 也大家也能看到我手指。You can feel tendon is here. Okay. 这里就是肌腱的地方。Like this, huh? So it's the right position, and then next step is to, uh, no, you have no, no problem. Okay. So you have uh, some anikyo, is it? Okay, like this, gentle. Okay. Yeah, you can see this is the upper border. You see me? Yeah, here you lift this up. Okay, you lift. Oh, this is not tooth forceps. Tooth forceps. So you can feel this. Okay, this is the tendon, right? Upper border of the tendon, right? And most of the time, I put my forceps like this, I lift up. Okay, and then we use the scissors to open the windows. Okay, here. Okay, you open the window between your press and say, this is our satellite fascia. We are using that one. See that here, you see? Underneath, there's a window. See? So you separate your hamstring from the MCL. Okay? And then you go this way. Yeah? See? The next step is to make it, to make it, uh, detach the insertions. 好，接下来呢就是指点的撕脱。Yeah, good idea. Here, you see that way. Here, this is upper border, and then I go here to the tubercles. Okay, like that. And make it like L, L shape. 然后呢，做一个倒 L 型的切口。Okay. Uh, yeah, fifteen is nine. This is a little bit too big. Okay, we go this way like L shape. 这样就是一个 L 到 L 型的筋膜瓣。Uh huh, like this. And also, these transfer incisions make the scar nice. And also, you have less chance of nerve injury. Okay. Okay, so in this area, there's no nerve. You go lower yourself because nerve is here. Okay. And after that, after you make this L shape, okay, we go this way and this way, right? Okay, this L shape, then you hold this wrap. This is a wrap of the... Okay, you open like this. Huh? Here, yes. Okay. Now you can see underneath, under, under the chest. So it's easier. Get the last. Okay. So now you can see very well, right? You see the tendons, like that. And actually, you see, this is the gas list. Yeah. Okay. Semi tendinous. Okay. So very easy. I hope have no chance of nerve injury. Nerve is here. The problem is when you do this, you can get this kind of scar. Okay. 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 Right, and then you harvest the grub underneath. Okay. So this way will be easiest, and you get very small incision, and you can see very well. Okay, so you agree? Yeah. Okay, and next step is to. Ah, excuse me. Ah, 皮肤腺要靠低啊，然后是横向的切口。呃，切开之后是非常安全的，因为神经是比较圆。那有时候，呃，有的术者可能觉得我要找到这个神经才能保护它，其实这个想法是完全没有必要。你只要不找它，你就就不会损伤到它。那做了这个筋膜的 L 型到 L 型切开之后，就马上能看到这个肌腱，然后进行曲线操作了。Okay. Thank you. Very good. So now I show you inner side is the MCL here. Oh, one jump. 那里面呢是有 MCL 的。Underneath here, this MCL. You see here. This MCL, see? Can you see? This is MCL, the anterior bundle. Yeah. So some surgeons they harvest this MCL because it looks like tendon. 
-hmm. But you see the direction of MCA is like this. The face is like this. So if you see the tendon this way, you should not have this. You're cutting the MCL. That's his true story. They're going <laughs> away the MCL. That's very really sad, you know. Yeah, this yeah, is the... You see? M is here. This way. Direction is different. So the Okay, the next step is you identify this tendon, not the whole tendon, just you separate this gas list from the sartorial fascia. Okay, outside is you see, outside is a sartorial fascia. You have it from inside. Inside is the gas list. So, so you, uh, so you can preserve your sartorial fascia, okay? Okay, that is the uh, gas list. And then the next one is a semi tendinosus. Uh, if you have the right angle, right angle it should be fine. Okay? Yeah. This is not right angles. No problem. We can try to make it. So, this is the semi tendinosus okay semi tendinosus okay so this is semi tendinosus okay here so here like this you have two tendons one is gas list one is semi tendinosus okay okay and this technique you can slowly pull 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 okay? yeah pull this because the distal insertion is already cut say pull like that okay and then you here obviously okay so so now we can suture and harvesting this one first. Okay. So I do this way because I want the tendon as long as possible. So that's why I go to the tubercle and cut it. You can get another two, three centimeters. That's quite important. Okay. 那这里游离呢，是可以游离到它的结节的地方，这样取件的长度会比较好。Okay, okay. and then. We repair this. So the step is you pull this until you reach your ear. Here. <laughs> the tip of your ear. It's always right. Okay. So this is the technique of Dr. Thomas Tischer, my, my mentor in Germany. Okay, then we go like this way. We call this Thomasat University technique of repair. You go around, okay? You and then you go to the tendons. Yeah. And then go around again. Okay, so this is good for the small tendon because you will not cut through the tendons. Because you have better grasping effect. Okay, about four times and then you come back. Okay, 
the good shan is you have less shan to cut into the suture. 那往回走的时候呢，注意不要扎到之前的线。Yeah, around. See. 也是环绕一下，穿刺一下。This way and then to the tendons. Okay. And then grabs along like this. Okay. And make it faster like that way. Okay. Good. Okay, this is really for the small tendon. You use this way, you have no chance of cut through the tendon because if the small tendon, repairing is not easy. 那哪怕肌腱比较小，呃，用这个方法呢，也不容易把肌腱呃穿坏了。And then you final by the Mason Allen stitch. 最后一针是这样纵向，就像 Mason Allen 前那样子穿出。So you you not cut through the tendon. Okay, because you lock the tendon. Okay, transward vertical like Mason Allen. Okay, good. So now you see that very strong. It's not cut through. Okay, so good. We get the first tendon. 好，第一个肌腱就这样子。Yeah, if there's some branch, sometimes there's small branch. You just cut it. Okay, 就直接剪掉。Okay, good. And then put your finger in like this. Make sure that. Always use your finger. Okay. Make sure that there's no attachment. A finger is very, very good friends, and also you have no injury from the fingers. Okay. So until you feel here, when you feel the, when you feel the muscles, okay, here. That means there's no more branch. Okay. Sometimes the gases have one branch. Have one small branch. 通常就只有呃一支呃没有分支或者是在一个分支。我们手分离到肌肉的部分就能确保中间没有别的分支了。Good. Okay. So we go in this way. 好，拿取间隙。So the trick is you just hold steady, not too much tension, and the line must be parallel. 拉太。You should not angulate like this. Okay. You can cut the tendon. You see. Angulate is not good. So look at the line of the tool, right? This line, okay? Yeah. And here, hold it steady, okay? And you see here, it slowly go. See, slowly go. Yeah. Okay. 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 Tendinosus. We did it the same way. Okay, like that. Good. So we get this, and then we pull. Okay, you can use this. Just pulling, 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 pulling. Don't worry. Okay, it will not cut it because you already detached the distal. Okay. 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 But do not contaminate your ear. <laughs> Just the level of the ear. Okay. Good. Okay. Go around. Go through. This is easy because go around is easy. Okay. This method is very simple. Faster than the, you use the whip stitch or the cat okay. cow stitch. And this is more stable from our study. You have less chance of cutting through the tissues. 这种呃，肌腱远端的编织方法呢有很多种。那我们也做过生物力学研究啊、呃，横向比较了几种编织方法，就发现我们这种 t h e m o s e t 方法呢是最稳定的，呃，对肌腱的穿刺也不会太多。Stop with the mesen lens. Like that way. Okay. 
then always pull. Pull is better because the tip yeah. will be smooth okay? and you can put in the needle better. Okay. On the middle side, there's always branch. Put your finger in like this, and then you can feel the branch. You see, this is the branch. Yeah, this is the first branch. Okay. Put your finger in. Okay. And sometimes the branch look very big. Look very big. Okay. So we cut the first branch. Like Okay, and then you bend the knee, bend the knee more. Put your finger in, okay, put your finger like that and hook the branch, okay. Very easy, use your finger, okay. Like that, okay. Now, I feel no more branch, okay. Yeah, we can feel this. So the branch always on the inferior side. Attached to the... Yeah. There's no branch on the top. That's only branch in the in the under under uh, the tendons. Okay. So this is the tendons. Yeah, and and now there's no more branch. We can harvest. So on the on the semi tenosus, most of the time there'll be two branch. So And you see that our ear clinic, you see, very equal. <laughs> Put to the ear. <laughs> you see? 最后我做出来的这个线, <laughs> 切了针之后, 两条线一样长, 所以我是非常熟练的, okay, good. And make sure that you get in. Okay. Same line, okay, like the other Adinan show. This line, and then you pull. Very okay? easy. Okay? Nice mm. okay? Yeah. Nice tendon. Yeah. Good. So you see that the incision is very small. Actually, we can make it smaller. But this is the, for the show, we make it bigger. But actually, the incision is like this. Only one. But my, my mentor, Dr. Sri Fok, he made it like very small, one centimeter. Oh my God, very small. Yeah, but for me, I make it two. Yeah, but my mentor can make it one centimeter. Unbelievable, okay? And you have no, no problem about nerve injury. Trust me, this technique. Okay. Uh, 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 大家有什么问题吗？啊，对对对，就每一桌，每一桌可以放个话筒，大家随时随地可以问，可以吗？OK，可以的。有问题吗？We okay. so, start with the you have the number eleven, the small. 哦，我问一下啊。有吗？没有，just one. That's one, right？我我有个问题啊。One question, yes. 呃那个就是这个机机件的编织方法我觉得还是蛮好的但是它这个呢我看了一下就是说假如机件比较细的话它那个就是说这个机件的呃外外侧缘啊就机件的那个远端啊全是布满的线它如果就是说呃对于我来
呃，那呃， Thank you. 这个这个问题呢，呃，问的也非常的自然，呃，很多人会想到这个线很多的问题。对它线确实多，不过基建跟股的接触面积呢是能够保障到的。我们也做了相应的呃临床研究，用了这种编织方法，术后随访 M R I， 看到它愈合非常好，没有任何愈合的问题的。谢谢你。So we start. OK. So 我们开始。I prefer to use the transverse incision. This is our eleven braid. So we do this way, transverse. Okay. 那我用十一号的刀，呃，横向。You go left and also you go right. Okay. So you, it will not be like go straight. It will not like small at the end. Okay. You go left and right. On my video, I never use the needle to identify, but this is very accurate. Okay. I make it like this, cross to patella tendon. Medial and lateral. Okay. This blade, 呢，先横向，然后呢，呃，摆动一下，转一下，顺时针、逆时针转一下，这样呢，通道就比较圆，不会成一个线状。The benefit of this transfer is number one, it's safe to your meniscus. When you put in too deep, it's also parallel the meniscus. You not cut the meniscus. Number two is when you go in the joint, you move this way, right? You move medial lateral. So transfer make you allow you to move this way better, but you make it vertical. You cannot move this way that much, okay? And also, it's nice skin incision. It's parallel to the skin crease. When it heal, it look nicer also. So many benefits from this transfer incision. But my yeah. 那我的通道切口呢是横向的，有三个优点。首先能够保护半月板，防止这个针啊一进去就扎到半月板。啊，第二呢，我们很多操作都是内外通道交替进行，或者说呃要交叉这样子呃呃做到这个对侧的监视，所以切口横向的话就比较好操作。另外呢，最后缝合之后，横向切口是跟皮肤的皱皱褶是一致的，就比较美观。Okay, so when you get in the joint like this, we have two way. You can go to the super patella pouch like lutein, or you can go this way. I show you. <laughs> you move. You move to the middle side. You touch the notch, and then you can go to this area. Okay. So this is another way to get in the joint. Okay. 第一个方法呢是向着病上囊的方向去进。啊，第二个方法呢是呃，在进去之后呃，绕到内侧。Okay, but the routine where you go this way, you get in and you extend, right? And you pass your scope to the super patella pouch that way. Okay, but in sometimes the 方法是进到病上囊的方向，然后伸直呃膝关节，然后就可以进。No, no, no need to inject the water because this is very easy. Okay. 啊，今天可以先不用水。Uh, which one is water? This one? So is it? Check out so uh -huh. the suction. So now we get in. Okay. So we get in the joint now. This is really nice joint. Thank, thank you for choosing the very nice <laughs> cadavers. This is very rare because uh, most of the cadavers in our country is the old patients. When you get in, can you hold this a little? 那今天挑标本的老师手非常准，挑了一个特别好的标本。Yeah. 在泰国呢，很多标本都是呃老年人，所以关节情况没那么好。啊哈 ，You call the cadaver 老师是吗？那、no. 老师啊、oh, ，same like same like Thailand， we we call 老师是。Yeah yeah yeah。We call teacher， we call 老师。嗯。Yeah。标本老师。Because we are, we respect our cadavers. Okay. Now you pat your scope, right? This okay. And many times you have the fat tissues here, or you have some plaga. You see here, you see? Sometimes you have plaga. And this plaga may be block your wheel. Okay, we go like this way, and we sweep the plaga away. We see the medial meniscus, and then we slowly go to the notch. Okay? So that's the way to go, right? 这过程中呢，会有一些脂脂肪或者是筋膜的呃覆盖。Okay, good. Can you pull the cadavers down a little bit to the end? That's a bit nice. Excuse me? Can we pull cadavers down a little bit? Yeah, pull. Excuse me? 
I, I will put the candle down a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. So now you get in the joy, right? So oh, ACL, and you always have oh, this. ACL. This is the ligamentum mucosum that block your wheel. Okay, most of the time here. You see this some, yeah, this is ligamentum mucosum, right? It's always block your wheel, okay? For the beginner, sometimes you get lost here. So that's why I... Okay, good. Here. So now the next step is to put the antromedial autos. Give me the knife again. Knife. Okay, thank you. Number 11. I'll put this knife in. Okay, very good. Okay, give me the shiver. Okay. Uh, suction. Seeing. But sometimes for the patient that have a lot of fat tissues, that's another trick when you get in the joint, okay? And you cannot see anything. When you go down, sometimes a lot of fat tissue. Sometimes that happen, right? Yeah. So the trick is you go to extension like this, okay? Like this way. And then you put this in to see the meeting point extension a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So this way you go here. So this like this like the meeting point. Okay. Because this is a big room. Yeah, you always see each other in this area. So like you go in the patient that have acute injury, a lot of breathing, or patient that have a lot of fat tissues, you can go to this meeting point first, and then you slowly drag your camera that way, okay? And slowly... Like this, okay? You slowly go down and you shape the tissue in the front. Okay? So, this technique works very well. Works very well. Okay, you can see mucosum. Okay, you can take this out. Okay, so now the joy belongs to you. See, better now. Because for, for the beginner, I agree that sometimes it's not easy to see each other in the joint. So the Super Toyota Plow is a good meeting room. It's a good meeting room. <laughs> Keep in mind. So, in the future,来说,这个进去之后怎么找呢?确实可能需要花时间去掌握,所以今天介绍的窍门就是利用病上囊,谢谢进到这个病上囊,他就相当于你家里面的会客厅,就先找到那个地方,就知道怎么走了。And when you shave the soft tissue, keep in mind, do not cut here. Many times you cut the anterior horn of the meniscus, or another thing is the intermeniscal ligament here from the medial side. Here, this ACL, yeah, many times you cut this. This is the intermeniscal ligament, right? Connecting. Okay. So clean the soft tissue to see well enough, okay? Like that. Okay, very good. And now you can bend the knee, okay, to 90 degrees. Okay,刚才是为了生殖情况下去汇合器械。Clean a little bit, okay?现在屈膝。Clean a little bit until you see very well the entry compartment.屈膝之后就看到前肩室。Okay, good.Okay, you have to see the entry horn, and it's very nice.看一下前脚。Okay, that is the entry horn meniscus. It's very important landmarks. You need to see here. And okay, and many, many times there's a, some soft tissue here impinged into the joint. That causes a lot of pain. So you need to remove that fat tissue that impinge into the joint. Okay? 那有时候病人有疼痛症状呢，往往就是因为前方这里有软组织或者是脂肪的呃卡压，所以要先清理。Okay, good. 
So next step is I will show you the portal that we mentioned. You see that that is ACL, this is PCL, okay? Now we have ACL, PCL. So we have published the technique we call the intercruciate approach to go to the back of the joint, okay? So you go to 12 o'clock. This is 12 o'clock, right? Between ACL and PCL. We always do like that for the patient that uh, we have to do the posterior compartment surgery. This is self 12 o'clock, nothing attached at the 12, right? Okay,这个十二点的方向是安全的。啊，有一些需要做后肩式手术的病人呢，我们都会通过这个交叉韧带肩入路，啊，从十二点进到后方。So your left hand side is the PCL, right hand side is this PCL, this ACL, right? So after you identify the twelve o'clock, then you use the RF. 就用射频。Okay, this is R2 care. Okay, yellow for me. Very good. So you go to 12 o'clock, okay? Identify the center. Okay, here, that is the posterior cortex. Careful, do not go too far, too deep. Okay, here you see, that is the over the top, right? Here, you see? Okay, and then you stop here. Okay, so this is our landmark. We will not go beyond this, okay? Okay, here. Very good. Now this is 12 o'clock positions. Okay. Good, and your left hand side, the rev is PCL, right is ACL, okay? We call this the intercruciate approach. Then give me the shaver. Give me switching stick, hey, Zhang. Dima? Ah, switching stick. Ah, Dima. Okay, good. So now, next step is to follow this, okay? And then you go here, you put it deeper. And then you turn your shaver blade to the left. Okay. But not beyond this, not beyond over the top. Okay. Then I turn my camera like this. Look at the left side, the PCL, just behind the PCL. Okay. And then you check this soft tissue. We call this the soft tissue in the middle. We call it the septum. Okay. It's a septum. Now you're cleaning the septum. You're starting to see the hole. You see? You see the holes on the left septum. So this is self. If you're not going beyond the roof, not beyond this, okay? Not beyond this. You see the holes there? That's a hole to the postural medial compartment. You see that? Here? Okay. Okay, just behind the PCL. Okay. Okay. Now you see the holes there. That is the window. Okay. You follow this window. You see? You follow this window. You can see the postural medial compartment. Okay. You see? That is the window to the postural medial compartment. Right? Okay. You follow this. You see? Now you get in the postural medial. Okay. That's good. That's good for the patient. That have very stable joint, like you want to do Baker cyst surgery, like you want to do the loose body in the back, PV and S that have stable PC and ACL. Sometimes it's not easy to get into the back of the joint. You agree, right? So doing this way is easy. ACL, PCL, 完整，但是它是呃 PV and S 或者是后方游离体，那这种情况下进入后方是比较难的，那就可以通过今天介绍的交叉韧带肩入路。Okay, now, and then from this portal, you can make the postural video portal, okay? I, I show you later, now I make the windows here. Okay, this is a window to the postural video. Give me some time. Okay, good. And then we we'll make do the same things on the postural lateral. Do you see the piece itself? Because... Here, we just go behind the PCL. 
OK， 那这里再看一下，就是 ACL、PCL 之间进去的这个呃组织窗就进入了后内间室。接下来我们用类似的方法来做出后外间室。OK， 我的没办法。OK， 走。OK， good。So now next step is to stop. Next step is to go to the Uh, fossil lateral, same way, okay, several. 好，给我刨刀。接下来我用类似的方法来开通后外监视。And also, when we do, I do PCL reconstruction using the laminate augmentations. I need to clean these holes big enough, wide enough to pass the graft because I my graft will go through this, okay. So you do this way, your graft will easily pass to the. Pass to the femoral tunnel. Okay. 嗯，那这个开通的组织窗很有用的用处就是 PCL 重建的时候，还有 PCL 残株加啊增强术的时候。Okay. 这个时候呢，要比较宽的组织窗才能把粗大的肌腱从下方穿上来。所以这个啊通道的方法很有用。Okay. Now you looking for the lateral side. 好，接下来找后外监视。Same way. Okay. 用类似的方法。So use this shaver. Through the soft tissue here. 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 Yeah. So this is the postural lateral, just behind the ACL. Okay. 就在 ACL 的后方。Yeah. Just behind the ACL, same way. So this area. Then you see the holes there. Okay. What is the postural lateral window? Okay. You see that that is the postural lateral window now. Okay. Okay. Good. So that is the postural lateral window. You see that? That is the postural lateral window. Okay. Good. Okay. And you can see better if you switch your camera from here. I always use my switching stick. Okay, to get in the joy. Okay, switching stick. Every time you change the portal, use the switching stick. 我器械换通道的时候都会用交换棒。Okay, very good. Which one? Ah, 哪哪哪哪 ？Okay. So from that way, good. Here, good. Shiver. 刨刀。Okay. See, you see better here mm -hmm. from here because if you want to see, you should go diagonal way. You want to see lateral, you come from medial. Mm -hmm. You want to see medial, you come from lateral. So that this already make the holes there, right? So now you can see that there's a uh, two windows, left windows to postural medial, right window to the postural lateral. So now you already create the transeptal technique, okay? That was proposed by Professor An from Korea. But his technique is not easy. You have to have the very skillful techniques to do that. But this way is easier. Is for general of the doctors can do that. Okay, it's easier. 那我这个方法就是用交叉韧带间入路，开通了后外监视和后内监视。现在视野当中，我们左手边的是后内监视，右手边的是后外监视。那我这个方法呢，呃，还用到了视野。就你想看内侧的话，呃，工具要从外侧去进去，利用对角线的视角关系，会看得比较清楚。啊、呃，这样就开通了呃穿横膈入路。那穿横膈入路呢，韩国的 Dr. An 也呃报道了他的方法，但他的方法呢是比较难掌握的。那我这个方法呢就更加简单一些，呃，就一般的呃很多医生都比较容易掌握。Okay, so now you see postural medial, right? Then I switch my camera again. You see that I use a lot of switching stick. So you need a switching stick for the knee surgery also because it's always in the shoulder set. So ask mm. the company, ask the nephew to put the switching stick in the knee set also. Right. 所以我每次换镜头都要用交换棒。一般呢，交换棒会包在肩关节的那个包里面，但是膝关节的包也要再带一个。Okay, so this is the postural medial. You can see the meniscal capsular junctions. So come from this side. Just a moment. 
camera 镜头 camera camera 现在看着的是后内通道，已经看到半月板和关节囊之间的交界处。Okay, so this is our drawing, right? So our drawing, we found that this is we call the trans illumination, trans illumination, right? So, yeah. So this joint line, this joint line, and okay. And here is the soft spot. So you you look from here, you can see your finger. This your finger there, right? So it's exactly we we have planned, right? Right. If you didn't do that before, and patient is very thick, very fat, sometimes you cannot get in, right? So I recommend you to. Draw the pictures. Draw the line first before you. Because today's picture is more thick, more fat, so I draw the hand with my finger. So you can see my finger in action. Sometimes, when the patient is thick, very fat, you can see the line very easily. So you can see my finger in action. Sometimes, when the patient is thick, very fat, you can see the line very easily. So you can see my finger in action. Sometimes, when the patient is thick, very fat, you can see the line very easily. So you can see my finger in action. Sometimes, when the patient is thick, very fat, you can see the line very easily. So you can see my finger in action. Sometimes, when the patient is thick, very fat, you can see the line very easily. So you can see my finger in action. Sometimes, when the patient is thick, very fat, you can see the line very easily. So you can see my finger in action. Sometimes, when the patient is thick, very fat, you can so our needle have to be just uh, posterior, or it's not sharp. My God. This <laughs> is the epidural needle, right? Yeah, okay, good. It's the epidural. Mm, it's not sharp. My God. Okay, it's the epidural. It's not sharp. My God. Oh, God. Very sticky. Yeah. Okay, good. The teacher is still a little weak. So now you got this. It's about one centimeter above the joint line, okay? And about one centimeter behind the condyle, okay? Not too close to the condyle because if you're too close, the problem is when it gets swollen, you cannot see. Okay, keep it, keep it. I need to make this that line up. Okay, we always use the knife to start in because, yeah, and also you, you open inside bigger. You open inside bigger because it will not get swollen and you not get lost. Okay, so outside small, but inside make it bigger. Okay, okay, like this. Okay, so you just cut this portion capsule. It's fine. Okay, so we not get lost. This is joint line's structure. I do this way. Okay, so to make it easier, we do this way. Okay, so to make it easier, we do this way. Okay, so to make it easier, we do this way. Okay, so to make it easier, we do this way. Okay, so to make it easier, we do this way. Okay, so to make it easier, we do this way. It's like a one-way valve. Okay. Then you put this in, right? Then okay. Follow your camera like this way. You go to this septum. You can yeah. Remember the hole. Okay. This PCL behind the PCL. You hold this. Okay. And then you turn your camera to the right. Then Here, your camera to the right, and that is your. Yeah, it's here. See, it's all right. So make sure that you are in, you are in the joint all the way. Okay, you need to be in the capsule, right? So someone they do this way, but they put it behind the capsule. It's very risky because you can cut the vessels. The vessel is close to lateral side, not medial. Okay. And then you hold this camera. Now, today's trans hernia root is in the whole body. Some people do the trans hernia root is a part in the lumbar spine. Actually, the left side has a joint structure, especially in the lumbar spine. Okay, camera come this side. Now, today's trans hernia root is very safe. You see that this is our marking, right? And this is our pin. You see. Exactly the same point. So you be safe, right? This point is using the trans hernia root. So the decision is very accurate. So between the LCL and bicep femoris, this triangle. Okay. This will be safe. Okay. So in 90 degree, this way. So using using this technique, you will be safe because. Uh, after you clean the septum, you remove the septum, the vascular will drop to the back. So, so this is a study of Professor An from Korea. So it's actually, it looks scary, but it's safe. And do it this way. Many times. 
那我们这种全关节内的穿横膈入路呢，形成之后，这个血管神经结构就会自然的呃退到后方，继续的后退，呃，所以关节内的操作会很安全。Yeah. 这个解剖关系呢，韩国的 Doctor An 也是发表过的，所以这个通道虽然看起来好像很吓人，但实际上并没有危险。Okay, so it look like we are aggressive, but actually we are the soft and tender doctor. This is same way. 那我现在这样戳，看起来好像很粗暴，但是我们都是做软组织的，就不会太粗暴的。Okay, the next step is put this in the back, okay, and then you draw like that, okay. 然后把镜头呢换到后外入路，这样子，呃，从内向，就从深处往外退镜头。Okay, now we are in the joint, okay. 这是关节内。Hello, Jay. Okay, so you follow this track. Okay, we are in, right? We talk hands on. Okay, you turn this way, you see the. And also, I use this portal for my ram lesion repair. Uh, because you read my articles in arthroscopy technique, we do the ram repair using this. Although you can see that, you can see very well. You can see up to here because sometimes the lamb lesion extend to the very medial. Okay, you can see better than you looking from the notch. Okay. 那这个通道的方法呢，我们也用在 ramp 啊，关节板 ramp 损伤的修补，在 arthroscopy 上面呢也发表了操作的文章。呃，因为 ramp 呃损伤有时候是很靠内侧的，所以经科肩窝入路有时候也不一定能发现，但是呃后方穿横膈入路就能很好的发现和修补。Okay, so now you just follow your track. Okay, keep in this track. Very important. Do not get out of this track because the vessel is on your right hand side. 那我们右手边呢是血管组织，所以我们所有的操作都要沿着刚才开通的软组织通道来进行。Your movement is just up and down. 啊，操作方向就是只有上下摆。Okay, and very hold this for me. Slowly drag this to the lateral side. Okay, here you can see here. This is the septum. We go through the septum. Okay, 咱们那天。现在看到的就是横膈膜。Okay. And you see the lateral condyle, right? That lateral condyle here, lateral condyle. See that lateral condyle? And we are descend. This is the center. Okay. So now you can move the soft tissues here. 软组织清理。Okay. Here you can move the soft tissues here. This is the septum, right? Yourself, if you stay in this line yourself, okay. And then you go to the center. Okay, hold this. 然后进入中线。Okay, 还没得到上线呢。我到了呀。有有呢。Okay, good. And then we slowly clean this. Okay, so we clean in until we see the tibial side. 我们清理到看到股骨为止，啊，看到胫骨为止。So that's it. The after you. Cleaning down here, you can see the PCL stump, okay? Or you can use the RF, okay? But keep in mind, you should keep this track, okay? You should keep this track to see the posterior compartment very well. I show you a little bit the PCL, but I will uh, come back to ACL, okay? So this is the, the step of the portal pressment, okay? 那刚才演示的主要是通道的形成和软组织穿的形成，呃，已经看到了 PCL 了。那接下来我会主呃关注 ACL 为主。那所有的操作都要在软组织穿里面进行。对对对，啊，对，就是错误。Okay, good. Now you come here. Clean the. Okay, good. 
Oh. So we clean this a little bit. Careful, do not cut into the meniscal capsular junctions. Okay, go down. 在清理的时候，注意要保护半月板关节囊交界处，不要误误伤了。Okay, here you remove this. Okay, the partner. Okay. Go. Okay, stop. Go. Okay, so you slowly clean this until you see the PCL footprint. Okay. Go. 然后看到 PCL 的指点了。For the beginners, I think we recommend to use the RF, okay? Because the, if you use a shaver, sometimes it suction too much. You can suck the soft tissue in, you can suck the vessels in. So uh, it's safer to do this. But actually, if you are very skillful, now you can use a shaver also. It will be faster, okay? So I show you what way. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Uh, actually, we need some water pump. Can you make it higher? Water pump up a little bit. That's the water pump. Water pump is very hot. 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 Okay, good. Yeah, you slowly go down. That's PCL, right? Slowly go down. This is PCL. We need to press. Here, PCL. Okay, turn the shaver blade away from the vessels. Higher. Press the shaver blade away from the vessels. Higher. Press the shaver blade away from the vessels. Higher. Press the shaver blade away from the vessels. Okay, that's better. See, pressure is better, so the joint is dilated. No, see better. 好，现在清理的差不多了，视野好了很多。So, well, when you go to posterior, you need some pressures to open the joint, right? So using a little bit higher. 所以做后方操作，这个形成操作空间的时候呢，呃，需要耐心一些。Okay, here you can see better. Sometimes of the PNS, you need to relate this out first, also. See here the better view. Okay, now you're going to the lateral side. You can see the lateral meniscus and also the popliteus tendon. I show you. Okay, so you can see very well. This is PCL, right? You turn your scope down like that. Now, 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 uh, popliteus muscles. 经理呢，这边软组织呢，一会儿会看到过肌。Okay, here I go to the lateral side. One, two, hey, and here. So turn your scope a lot, slowly, like that way. Okay, you see lateral side, and you come this way. You see lateral meniscus. And then you go this area. You can see the popliteus coming. Okay. 接着马上就看到过肌了。Yeah. So popliteus is here. You see, it's coming here. You see that hiatus. You see that. 过肌裂口。That is popliteus coming here. Okay. Yeah. This is the popliteus hiatus. Okay. 
Okay, and you Thank see you that is the main disco. You see public test there. Okay, we call this the free zone public test attached there. Okay, so from this photo you can see very well, and we use this photo for the public test reconstruction arthroscopically also, right? 做关节镜下锅基重建呢，也要用到这个入路。那刚才演示。So if you want to do some public disc reconstruction, I need to release a little bit to the lateral side to see the public disc muscle junction. Okay. So. 如果要做锅基重建的话呢，外侧的松解就要多一些。If you do just. 能看到锅基的肌肉部为止。If you do just the PCL, that's enough. Okay, for this exposure. But if you need public disc reconstruction, you need to go a little bit down here, okay, to identify the public disc muscles, okay? 那后方这个监视呢，如果是单纯做 PCL 重建的话，呃，没不再继续往下呃松解呢，也够用了。但是如果做波肌重建的话呢，还要继续往下去松解。Okay, good. Slowly get down that way. Okay. 慢慢的往下松。So I just show you, and then. I will go back to the ACL. Okay, this is. This is a process of the part of the process. Next, I will do ACL exercise. Okay, good. 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 Okay, 只是锅基重建的时候需要继续松解。Okay. Really thick. IF. 射频。Hello? Hello? Okay, it's also clean. For the PVNS, you need to clean like this. The pigmented below nodular synovitis. Because it's really aggressive, you need really good exposures. Same like I do today, okay? For PCL, you can clean to the center. That's enough. Okay. Like that. That's for PCL. If you do PCL surgery, you need to take care of the skin. So you need to use a surgical knife to do the clean. You need to clean to the center. Okay. Like that way. Okay. Like that way. Okay. Like that way. Okay, stop. Now you can see the muscles there. That is the public disc muscle. Go. 那现在看到的就是锅基的肌肉部。You can see the fresh fibers here. Now we get out of the capsule. You see, that is the end of the capsule, right? 好，那也是呃关节囊的终点了。Uh huh. That's the end of the capsule, and then you start to see the muscles coming. That is the muscle of public disc. You see that? This is yeah, I have. Yeah. So our landmark for the PCL insertion is you identify these public disc muscles. Okay, these public disc will protect your vessels. Okay. So here, just above this public disc muscle, is the PCL attachment. Right. 那做 PCL 重建的时候呢，要以锅基为血管保护的组织，利用锅基来保护血管。Okay, 所以 PCL 指点的标记点呢，就是在锅基的上方。Okay. So, so I don't never remember how many centimeters from the joint line because each patient is not the same, right? So you remember that the public disc is the landmark for the PCL insertions. 所以要找 PCL 指点的话呢，最准确的方法是利用锅基去找，而不是看这个距离是多少厘米。这个厘米数呢， Stop. 每个病人身上可能会不一样。Okay, here you look at this. Okay, so now the angle start to change here. That is the attachment of the PCL. Okay. 
Okay, that's it. The tibia, the bone is there. Okay, so this is our landmark. That's the end of the piece attachment. So the piece attachment, you have to be low enough. The problem is sometimes you go too high, you cannot hook the tibia. You know, when you do piece cell reconstruction, stop. It's like you hook the tibia, hook the tibia, because a lot of gravity pressure to the back, right? If you're too high, you just like the point contact. It's not strong enough to uh, stabilize the fossil translation. Okay. Now,PCL的重建点要偏低才比较好 Okay, good. So I think I will stop here. You can see very well the posterior compartment. You can see condyle, fourth condyle. You can see meniscus. You can see popliteus. You can see everything now. Okay, so we are now ready for the PCL reconstruction and popliteus reconstruction. So now we're coming to the front. Okay. 那刚才演示的就是后方监视的显露和软组织清理，啊，看到了股骨科、半月板、锅基。那如果呃做PCL重建和锅基重建的话，就可以从接下来继续做了。不过呢，我会呃先做完ACL再说。Okay, for the rear practice, when we going back from the uh first compartment, I always put my switching stick, okay, because I will not lose this. Space, okay. Now, when you hold the shoe, hold this one. Okay, okay. The way is like this. You get into this hole, okay, and then you follow this hole, right? I mean, this way, okay. Now, you can keep this space, this track. You not make it again, okay? Good. So now we finish everything. Portal pressman, portal medial, portal lateral. Antral medial, antral lateral. Okay, and we show you later the structure. Okay. So the next step is the ACL. Okay. Is there a question? Any questions now? Lisa, before we proceed to the next surgery. Okay. 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 Okay, that's good. Okay, you can see ACL there. Okay, share work from me. So now we're coming to the front. Okay. That is the ACL. So we cut the ACL and show you the attachment, okay? So that is a lateral meniscus lute. Okay. Or maybe I show you the mid medial portals for the lute repair. You want? Okay. 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 So now you can see very well, okay? Remove these soft tissues. Okay. So next step, I, I will show you the medial meniscus flute, the portal, okay? So you see medial meniscus, it's always, you always cannot see very well, right? The medial meniscus, see? Very tight, very tight space, right? Uh, actually, we did the 18, one extended. So here you see that the loot is there, right? But many times we cannot see very well the loot because the joint space is closed. 
So we have the study. We found that that is the that is the uh, we call this the magic point. You can release. Yam si lương na. For that, for that. So this line from the study, we found that it's in the line of the adductor tubercle, right? You draw the line from adductor tubercles. Intersection with the joint line is about 1.2 centimeters. Okay, from the joint line. Okay, so you can see the medial opening better. That we need to do MCL to shrink, ah, more than shrink. Shrink, ah, this shrink point is in the joint line, ah, 1.2 centimeters. It is near the intersection of the joint and the joint line. But actually, we need the 18 millimeters, 18 gauge needle. 一般呢，这个穿刺针最好选个十八号的针头。And then you do the touch. If you touch to the right point, the joint will open immediately. Okay. 那注意观察镜下，啊，每每穿刺一点，镜下就会看到操作空间的增加。Sorry that we didn't have the right instrument. Because today's instrument is not the same as the other one, so it will be a bit difficult to explain. Okay, maybe later. If you touch at the right point, it will open immediately. That in general, if you touch at the right point, it will open immediately. Okay, maybe later. No, no, later. Maybe we find another, some more instrument. So, bend the knee a little. Uh, okay, so you see this. This is the we call this mid medial portal. Okay, so from here, your finger here. Okay, so from here, from here, we we will use the one portal for the meniscus root surgery. Okay, put your finger. We need the mid medial portal to do the repair. Okay, we call this the mid medial portal, just above the meniscus. Okay, like that. Okay. So from here, you can work very well because you are getting close to the meniscus, right? If you're working from the front, it's too far. It's too far. Okay. Give me the knife. Knife. Okay. So here we call this the mid medial portal. Turn your knife up. No, no, no. Give it. Okay, above the needles. Okay, like that way. See that the knife is coming, but do not cut your meniscus. Careful. Okay. 注意刀不要扎到半月板。Okay, like that way. Okay. Okay, just above. Turn the sharp blade upward. Okay, like that way. 刀锋朝上。And make it. Vertical because you need to go parallel to the MCL. Okay. And the blade should be parallel to the MCL. Yeah. Uh, straight. Yeah. So this is our medial, mid-medial portal. So we do this for many things. As we see, we do it for the root surgery. Okay. So this you can do this for many things. As we see, we do it for the root surgery. So that you can go close to the root, right? You need don't have to go from the front. So it's easier to do the root surgery from this portal. Okay. That the outer portal is the most important use in the outer portal. That the outer portal can be used to enter the outer portal. It is not necessary to enter the outer portal. So now I think we finished the portal placement. You agree? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You agree? Okay. So next, next step is to remove the to identify the ACL footprint. Right? Next, we need to find ACL footprint. Uh, let me show you. So, this is ACL. ACL have two bundles, right? ACL is in Yeah, this is the AL, uh, AM and PL, right? The attachment is lower. You look at this, okay? You look at the ACL attachment. Actually, it's quite low. Here. I check this out by shaver. And then you can see, you can see better, okay? So this is a good opportunity to see the ACL footprint because in the real patients, it's gone. 
So this is an intact. It's a good opportunity to see the footprint, right? 那今天标本操作呢，就比较好，能能能够显露 ACL 的指点，因为病人来了之后，呃，指点可能已经很难找，但今天我们标本上面是很好找的。So this is the also lateral. You see the ACL orientation is going very, very low, right? Very flat. 它是有点比较平，比较低。这样的方向。In the past, I I remember when I was young, I I I was taught to put the ACL here, one o'clock position. You remember that? That is one o'clock, one o'clock direction. I was taught in my youth that the ACL should be here, one o'clock position. Yeah, in the past. 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 And then, and then it moved to three o'clock. And then it moved to three o'clock. Then it moved to three o'clock. And 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 then it moved Become popular again. 那再后来呢？又流行单数了，而且是选啊单数的解剖重建。Right, the two bundle uh reconstruction become less popular. 那有了单数的解剖重建之后呢，双数重建就没那么流行了。Yeah, so I think nowadays the the concept of anatomic reconstruction, put the ACL back to the footprint, is the What acceptable? That now, 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 See that here, ACL attached very low, right? So its orientation is very low. Okay, that's a concept of the a group of surgeons we call the ideal point. That ideal point, ah, this group of surgeons has proposed the ACL orientation point as the lowest point. It stands for I is isometric. That this group of team has a name, is a shortcut. The first letter is I, which means isometric isometrics. D is dialect. The second letter is D, which means dialect. Because ACL has dialect and indirect fibers, so the dialect fiber attachment is close to the lateral ridge. 它的意思呢，就是 ACL 的直接纤维是非常接近住院医师级的。E is eccentric。那第三个字母呢是 E， 代表 eccentric， 呃，非等长，呃，非等，非，非同心。这个了吗？啊 ？And A and L A I forgot L is low tension。那再往后呢，就是 A 和 L 这两个字母。A 呢，我也忘了代表什么了。Okay, now. 但是 L 呢，是代表第一张。Anatomy. Ah, anatomy. Anatomy. Ah, so thank you. Anatomy. Very good. Ah, very good. Very good. Very good. Anatomy. Perfect. Anatomy. And L is low tension. So in in this intersection, they found that you you see that ACL is here. So that is very nice, okay? So ACL, okay? Attachment, actually, if we do this, in the past, it should be fine, but we did it wrong for a long time because we was told to do ACL reconstruction, uh, not the anatomic way. You see that this is the Area of attachment of the ACL is quite low, right? You see that ACL 的自然指点 above this line 在课间窝里面比较低的地方
，所以很长一段时间里面，我们对 ACL 指点的认识都是错的。啊、呃，我们以前以为的指点呢偏高，太高了，它实际上是很低位的。Yeah, you see that above this line, there's no ACL. 那这一条线再往上就没有 ACL 的纤维了。看到吗 ？Stop. See, this line is the resident ridge or lateral intercondylar ridge. Go. 那这一条线呢，就是住院医师脊，它也叫股骨外侧髁脊。Okay, if you do ACL above this line, you are wrong. So, 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 up, and then you put your ACL here in the middle. Then you put my ACL and the ligament in the middle of this area. Uh huh. Okay, good. So if you have a big size of the graft that can fill in this uh, tunnel, that should be the ideal, right? Yeah. And the most important thing is that from the outside perspective, it should be able to cover this ligament. That's the most important thing. So that's why I I prefer to use a big size graft to put in the ACL because uh you can get close to the anatomic reconstruction. 也正因此，我做 ACL 重建的时候呢，移植物都做的比较粗，因为比较粗才能完全覆盖它自然足印。Okay, so now really nice. So I will mark uh here the central of my ACL. If you have the fresh ACL injury. Okay, you can use this landmark. Okay, and then if you put in the center, that should be the best, right? 然后在足印的中央中心标记隧道点，这一点呢，在新鲜伤的病例当中比较好找。Okay, good. That is our central. Okay, ACL. You agree? Okay. 这一点是中心了，对吧 ？Very good. So that is our femoral, and then we go to the tibia. Okay. 这个就是股骨的隧道点。接下来看胫骨。So now we go to the lateral again. 我们镜头换到外侧前外通道。Okay, that is our femoral tunnel. So the 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 benefit of the portal cross to the patella tendon is that you can see very well, right? 那现在我镜头在外侧通道也能看到外侧髁内侧面的这个隧道口。所以呢，这是因为我的通道是挨着并肩的。So I can see the right side of the femoral tibia. Okay, good. So that is our femoral tibia attachment. Here we see the femoral tibia. Yeah. Okay, good. So now look at the tibia attachment. Your landmark first is your lateral meniscus. Let's find the right side of the femoral tibia. So this is lateral meniscus. Stop. This is the we call the intermeniscal ligament. You see here. This part is the meniscus. This one. Okay. Your ACL is just behind this intermeniscal ligament. ACL 呢就在板腱韧带的后方。In the line of the lateral meniscus. 它跟外侧半月板是同一条线上的。啊。And from the concept of Dr. Rino Sebo from Germany. 那德国的 Rino Sibo 教授呢？啊，有对这个解剖做过阐述。They got the concept of the ribbon ACL， 就是呃彩带一样 ACL。Okay, so that is the medial meniscus, bro. You see that our portal is perfect. It's just above the meniscus. See. 那这个角度也再次看到我们前方通道的高度，它就在半月板上方。So trust me, our uh lower pole patella is always reliable. 也就印证了我为什么通过髌骨下棘去啊、uh, 找通道点，这个髌骨下棘是非常准确可靠的。Okay, good. And that is the footprint, right? This is intermeniscal ligament blue. You see that very nice. The meniscal ligament. The front is ACL. 
you should not go beyond intermenstrual ligament just behind okay yellow so any operation you should be in the band in the middle and this is the medial tibial spine okay and is the left so our ACL footprint should be here. ACL footprint So in the past, we put it too far posterior. That make the graph too vertical. Okay, so nowadays we know that we need to make your ACL Really anatomic. But now, we have a better understanding of ACL. It has been realized that the ACL is more near. So from the concept of Rhinocebo, they say that the ACL should attach very medial. So the ACL graph will be more oblique. Okay? You should go very medial close to this. But in the real practice, I can use my screw to push the ACL to medial side. So that's why I propose the postural lateral screw for the ACL reconstruction for the tibial side. Now根据德国的Cibo教授讲的ACL走向的问题呢,这个ACL的胫骨指点是靠内侧的,所以ACL的走向就比较斜。so we have to make the right Okay, look at this. So this is our graph today. Yeah. So today we got the 9mm diameter. That's nice. You should have at least 8mm. And this is the new products from the Smith Nephews. We call that the Ultra Button. So this is the new suture we put in. Ultra Button, they come with two sutures. This one. Okay, this one, this one. But I put another suture in. This one. Flip it, flip it. 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 Yeah, the good thing is when you pass the cortex, you can make a flipping like this. I think Smith Nephew should put another suture in this one, right? The surgeon will be happy if they can flip the button. Okay. Good. Yeah. So our concept is this is an adjustable loop. When put your put the graph in, we pass the button first. And then after you press the button, okay? Yeah.那整个呃胎板呢，就是穿进移植物之后呢，穿板，然后是形成这样的结构。Okay, after we press the button, then we flip the button like this.那送进骨隧道的时候呢，是钢板先走，走完之后穿出皮质之后，我们就用这两个线来调整翻判。And then we pull this one, the tiger one. When you put this one, the the it will be slide like this. 那画线一边拉就看到啊线环缩短。注意看移植物和胎板之间的距离正在缩短了。The loop will be shorter and the graph will be pulled inside the joint. 这样拉线就缩短了线环，移植物就进入到骨道了。Okay, and look at this. This part is. Many questions yesterday from the hold this for me hold it back. 那中国呃老师们呢对这个产品比较感兴趣，就问了很多问题。
This part is smooth. It's not. Here, here there is a protection barrier. It's strong, and also it's not cutting the the grass because it is smooth. It's strong, but it's not cutting the grass because it is smooth. See, you see this? This is thick, and also it's smooth. It's like a loop. So this barrier is quite thick, but it's also smooth. Okay, and don't worry that that will cut the grass because we have no problem about that. Okay. This is not going to cut the grass. Don't worry about it. Okay. Good. We show you later about the techniques. That detail. We will put it in later. We will explain the techniques. Are we not confused yet? So we first nowadays I think we prefer to do the ACL reconstruction using the trans portal techniques. That ACL 重建呢，现在都是主流是经通道制作隧道。Right. In the past, we doing uh the trans tibial, but we know that if you doing the trans tibial, you cannot you cannot meet this point from the tibial side. You cannot go to anatomic point. It's always go vertical, right? 以前的做法呢是经胫骨隧道形成股骨,骨隧道，但这个方法呢会导致隧道太呃垂直，而且隧道口呢也没有在刚才标记的解剖指点上。You look at this. This is like trans tibial. It's always go to vertical. 就像我们在双龙刀笔画的方向，经胫骨隧道的话，呃，隧道方向会这样子。Okay. Or even you try to do this way, it's also not possible. 但斜，我们刚才说了 ，ACL 是斜向的。但你要做斜向通道的话，经胫骨隧道又没法做。Because your tibial footprint is very anterior, your femoral footprint is very posterior. It's impossible to go in one straight line like that way. Okay. 这个根本原因呢，就在于胫骨指点是偏前的，但股骨指点呢又偏后，所以两条线相连，这个跟经胫骨隧道的走向是交叉的。So that's why the trans tibial technique become less and less popular. 也正因此，经胫骨隧道做股骨隧道这种方法呢，已经越来越少医生用了。Okay, after you marking your entry point. 这是胫骨隧道口的标记。Amy, okay, good. Then we, uh, identify the center of the ACL using the endo button rim. 然后也看到 ACL 的中心。So this is my, my like a M, okay? 我用 endo button 配的转。Yeah, it's small and that's very precise. And then you bend the knee, okay? Also a dinan, bend the knee slowly. That way, very good. Bending, very good. And done. Okay, very good. Okay, mark the point. You bend the knee to 120 degree. 屈膝要屈到一百二十度。Okay, let's go. 好，可以开转。Until you pass to the lateral cortex, okay, you stop. Okay, and at the same time, you don't need to take it out. One step, you see, you drill the pin and then you hold the button. Don't take, don't need to take it off. Okay, at this easy. Okay, one step. 那一步呢，就可以形成隧道和穿肌腱。Okay, here at the same section, is it? At the same time, you look at the measuring. How how deep is that now? Thirty now, right? Thirty. Thirty. You can feel the heart of the cortex now. I think it's about should be thirty-five, thirty-six. Yeah, maybe. Thirty-five, thirty-six. I think. Then we make a depth gauge. Okay. But this is lucky because sometimes we got the valley. Short tunnel because nowadays we put the ACL lower, the short not tunnel is always shorter. 那因为现在做 ACL 解剖重建的话，隧道口是偏低的，偏低的话往往导致骨隧道是比较短。不过今天这个骨隧道的长度还可以。Yeah, that's why you need to have the outer button because this outer button I think is made for our Asian people, made for China, made for Thailand. Made for the small people, because we have the short tunnel. 那因为解剖重建呢，越来越成为主流，也就意味着股骨的骨隧道，呃，整个趋势来说是越来越短。
再加上东南亚人口啊、呃，泰国、中国、南方啊、呃，很多病人体型比较小，隧道隧道又更加短，所以 Ultra Button 的应用前景是很广的，因为它啊、呃、可调节。三十六是吗？今天量量出了三十六。三十六。三十六 ，OK。三十六，好。下边。Okay, good. Thirty-six. Answer Liu. So we plan to put in the tunnel. So actually, the short test that we have the study to put in the tunnel is eleven millimeters. So we did the MI study and also clinical study. Even we put in eleven millimeters, this can heal in the tunnel. Okay, no worry because you have the good metaphysis, meta cancer response. One point. One milli uh, centimeter. That's enough for healing. Okay, so for the very small size lady, I prefer to make short graft but thick size. Okay, so now next step is to pat this in. 那有了 Ultra Button 呢，我们所需要的移移植物隧道的长度呢就可以缩短。我们也做过临床和 MRI 研究。啊，哪怕隧道啊粗呃这个粗隧道只有十一毫米，这个事后的愈合也是非常好的，因为它这一部分靠低了之后呢，松质骨的质量是比较好的，所以移植物比较短也没关系，可以长好的。所以在东南亚、中国南方啊比较瘦小的患者呢 ，Ultra Button 就非常有用啊，所需要的移植物隧道是比较短的。My weight is bad. Huh? So we go in about 20 for these patients. Okay, we can we have long size. Our gap is eight. It's long enough. Okay, this is 15. This is 20. Okay, 20 is fine. And I will start with the small size first. This is number six, but actually our tunnel is number nine. Okay, the good thing of the smaller size gap I show you, Shiver, you will not break the posterior cortex. You never break the posterior cortex, I tell you, using this technique, because when you do this way, I show you here, give me RF. 那今天我们的粗隧道呢是二十毫米，根据这个标本的大小来决定的。啊、呃，因为移植物还比较长，有八公分， cortex. 所以股骨侧可以有两公分。那直径方面呢是九毫米，我们先从小篆开始用，先用六号的，再扩成九的。Okay. 那用这种方法呢，就能保护后方的皮质不会打穿。你们看到吗？这个。What's your cortex? Yeah. 后方皮质就这里了， yeah. 看到吧 ？So if you use the this technique, the step reaming, start from the smaller size, it will be safe because even you get close to the posterior cortex, you still can move. Okay, you can move this to the front. You can move to to the top, right? So we can start from the smaller size, and this will not break posterior cortex, even you make the wrong tunnel. Okay. But if you make a big size rimming, you can break the posterior cortex right away. Go. So, I turn this tunnel. At first, I use a small tunnel. Ah, I use a small tunnel. Then, I expand it. So, I can protect the posterior cortex from the back. And, ah, I use a small tunnel. Then, I use a small tunnel. Then, I use a small tunnel. Then, I use a small tunnel. 方便调整。那假如小转进去之后发现， yeah, 呃，角度方向不太好，那你还可以接下来做一些偏心的转、okay. 转孔的操作，把它呃移前前移这个隧道。Then number eight, we go every two millimeters. 好，每隔两毫米是一号转，现在是八号。Okay, here you can see that here posterior cortex is still intact. See that posterior cortex is not broke out. 每每转一步呢，都检查一下后方皮质，都确保它是呃完整的，没有割，没有转穿。Okay, good. And we're still in the tunnel, in the middle of the tunnel, okay, in of the footprint. Okay, cleaning all the bone dust. So bone dust, I always clean it out because this bone dust can can be the loose body in the joint. So try to clean all the bone dust away. 这些骨渣呢要清掉啊、呃，所以我每转一步呢都清骨渣，呃，防止它呃累积在里面之后引起撞击
So from the study of the ideal point, we found that if you intersection with the I, D, E, A, L, so the ideal point is here, is below the uh, resident list or lateral con intercondylar ridge, okay? And close to the posterior, okay? So if you cannot make a big size graph, so your position should be here. We call this the intersection of the ideal point, I D E A L, right? 那我们今天操作呢，就是按照刚才介绍的 I D E A L ideal 这个理想原则来做的隧道点。呃，它呢在住院医师级的下方，它比较靠下靠后，但是又不不容易引起后方穿出。那如果移植物是比较细，不像今天的这么粗的话呢，是可以偏低。Okay, so now you can see very well, right? So next step is we pass the purple sutures into the tunnel. Go. 那接下来把紫线带进轨道。Yeah. So now we finish our femoral tunnel. Okay. 现在股骨侧隧道的。So look back to the middle side again. You look that really nice, right? We put the camera back to the right side to see the anatomy. It's below the anatomy. This is really anatomy. It's very anatomical. Right, it's in the center of the previous footprint. Right. You can also see the anatomy of the previous footprint. Right. It's in the center of the previous footprint. Right. 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 接下来做胫骨侧。So I think it's uh better to separate the tibia and femoral tunnel. The transtibial, you have to rely on the tibial tunnel, right? Yeah. 所以我觉得胫骨和股骨的隧道呢分开来做比较好，而经胫骨隧道做股骨隧道的方法呢，就相当于股骨隧道取决于胫骨隧道，这是不合适的。Yeah. The ACL footprint actually is have to be very close to the cartilage like that. Yeah, very close. Don't worry. You will not get into the cartilage. It just be just above like that. Okay. 那现在隧道口呢是非常接近软骨的边界，这是正常的，不用担心。Okay. Now coming to the tibia. 好，看胫骨。Sure, bro. Your side, okay. So inter, uh, intercondylar, um, intermeniscal ligament is connecting from here. See, to the yeah, is this direction. Yeah, here the meniscal ligament. So your channel have to be here. Okay. ACL here. Aiming device. Ah, measuring key. Tip type. So in in Thailand we prefer the elbow type, but in China you have the tip type, right? Uh, that's fine. So we can modify a little bit. This is the tip type, right? So we uh, we put it here, okay, in the center. But when we put the screw, we put the screw eccentric. That we push the graft to the anterolateral. And nowadays, your tunnel is really anterior. So if you make the tunnel too short, you can break the anterior cortex. So I prefer to go 65 degree, okay? And your tunnel should at least four centimeter. You see? Outside. Look, look at this. Look at this. This is four. Yeah. It should be long enough. So, if you don't use the tunnel, it can cause the tunnel to be stuck in the middle of the tunnel. But the tunnel to the tunnel has to be 4 feet. So, the depth is at 65 degrees. So, the person did not have to report the technique of the inaccurate pin placement. You can read in the arthroscopy technique. So, even if you make it wrong, don't worry. Stop. Don't worry. You don't need to make it again. We show you how to correct to get the, the accurate tunnel. 那假如这个瞄准器的点呢，最后做出来的
呃，通道的朝向不是很理想的话呢，其实也有方法可以微调的。Okay. 这个微调的方法呢，我今天会演示，而且这个方法也发表在了 Arthroscopy Technique 里面， okay. 大家可以去查阅。Yeah, so the technique is I show you. 那这个调整胫骨隧道朝向的方法呢，接下来就演示。Yeah. So this is a little bit lateral, right? 那我们看到现在导针是偏外侧的。The technique is we hold this, okay? 于是我们用口可钳。And then we ream. 把持这个导针的关节内的部分。We leave for the smaller size, like femur, because you can change the center of your tunnel again. 然后进行非同心圆转曲骨道的方法来调整，呃，隧道的朝向。Okay, here you got it, right? Take it out. Okay, look at this. So you can change your tunnel now, right? Medial lateral, right? By controlling this one. If you want to go medial, you shift the center to the medial side. Okay, so this is the Professor Adinan already mentions in the arthroscopy technique many years ago. We have many years ago in the arthroscopy technique, we have published this adjustment of the medial side to the medial side. Soft bone, very soft bone. Okay, out. Okay. Now you see that the tunnel is good now, right? Cross the medial. And also we can help by putting the screw eccentric. Okay, the screw we push the graft to anterior medial. We put the screw posterior lateral. Okay. 那通过现在导针的方向呢，大家可以想象我刚才描述的那个呃隧道内分两份，用挤压钉把移植物挤到前内分的方法。You leave gentle, okay? Good. Okay, good. Okay, we finished. 好，胫骨隧道完成了。So now, block this, block the tunnel. I shave a little bit. You can see from the tunnel that it's good, right? I clean a little bit. 稍微清理一下。好呢。So this tunnel is about four centimeters. Okay. Okay. Now we preparing, and then I will show you how to prevent, how to make the screw posterior lateral, okay, and how to prevent the screw cutting to the graft. That that's happened many times to uh, some surgeons. That is a disaster. After you fix everything and you turn the screw in, you cut the graft. Is that ever happened to you, my friends? In the audience who has ever had that experience, raise the hand up. 那接下来会演示一个技巧，就是呃偏心放挤压钉的方法。呃，然后这个方法的另一个好处呢，就是防止肌腱被挤压钉割穿割破。那这个后果呢，对植入者来说是非常的沮丧。好不容易一直握进去了，结果挤压钉把它呃卷破了。那不知道贾主任和现场的老师有没有遇到过这种情况呢？啊 ，Dr. b e n c h a 希望大家有遇到过这个放挤压钉挤破呃移植物情况的这种呃情况，呃，有遇到过的老师举手示意一下好吗？ Yes or no? 我看一下现场有多少老师举手。Anyone in the room have that experience, Lisa? Doctor, uh, yeah, I'm checking. <laughs> Doctor Bencher, 很希望看一下现场有多少老师遇到过这种困扰。Screw cut the graft. 就是用挤压钉固定胫骨侧的时候，肌腱割破了。Or blow out posterior cortex. 或者说，平内斩了，穿到后方皮质了。哦，现在看到大家了，可以举手示意一下吗？应该没有。来互动一下吗？应该没有。来试试。没有哈。没有啊，好好好，好好。So 
họ sẽ xin. Thì cái này, I will put his here, okay, in the postal lateral area, okay. À, tôi sẽ tại ở tạo chân nó sẽ tại ở chân rùa của xoay tàu là, và sau đó là tranh chu hậu ngoại phần. And then we put this, okay, to put the guy into the postal lateral foot. Xoay tàu ở hậu ngoại phần. Okay, good. So that guy will stuck in the postal lateral. I put it in the soft tissue to block it. It will not move. Okay. So just retrieve. He will keep a hold on the position of the position. And then here, 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 we put this to the anterior medial. Okay. So make sure that your grab will be anterior medial, and the suture will be postal lateral. Okay. So we take that suture. Then, this anterior medial suture will be passed to the anterior medial. So now the next step is to pass the graph with the ultra button, right? Then use ultra button to use the tissue. Okay. So I think ultra button just launched in China for one year, right? Yeah, for one year. Okay. Ultra button is one year ago in China launched. Okay. Good. So now, as I told you, we have three sutures, two sutures for flipping, one foot suture for pulling the ground. Okay. So now, as I told you, So then you switch your camera, right? From the lateral to medial. This is very important. Okay. You see that the button is getting in. You need to see from here. Okay, slowly pull. Not too aggressive. Slowly. 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 Okay, you can see slowly put in. Yeah, see, it's getting out. Yeah. So this is under vision. Yeah. By self. Because in the past we pull the button, we pull very strong, and then we get into the soft tissues. Sometimes you go out to the IT band, and you cannot pull it back. From X-ray look ugly, right? So this way you make sure that your button is sitting on the cortex. That is a safe way. Okay. I look at the hand, right? So it doesn't need this. Yeah, this one not yet. Right, and then flipping. Look at this. Because we used the so you Okay, 对对对对，对吧 ？Yeah， <laughs> 很多个对自己补。Yeah， it's not getting down. Now we pull the graph in. So it's not going to go down. Okay, here you see that it starts to slide. Okay, here look at this. That 然后呢，我们从中间的花线就看到，呃，随着线环的缩短缩紧，移植物呢就从胫骨隧道进入到股骨隧道。Okay, slowly. So we have a marking here. Marking is the two centimeters. Go. Today, the marked line of the blue line is two centimeters. And this, this suture is very strong. It's very strong. And then this line of the blue line is very strong. Now you change from the from the tip to the center because there will be two loops. Look at this. This is the first loop for pulling the button. Okay. So there's another loop that is closer. You put your hand like this. Okay. Now, everyone, look at my hand's movement. 这个中间的线呢，它不是一股线到底的，中间有好几段。Yeah. Okay. 第一段呢是个线环，是个指环。Okay. 指环呢就是手指勾住之后，整个结构就会往外带。Okay. 那中间呢就是两条线
两条线也是可以整个手手掌包着这个线环的 U 型端来拉皮质物。Very good. And then you pull this using some gauze or something soft, protect your hand, right? Okay. And then pulling. 然后 This is Mr. Peter Wood. Yeah, very good. Get in, right? Okay. Very good. And it will stuck. You cannot go further because this is like the blind tunnel. It's like a cave. So the end of the cave is sitting. The grab is sitting there. So you cannot fool for it. Is stopped by the tunnel. Okay. Good. 那移植物走到最后呢，就走到了粗隧道的尽头。Now you see that you pull it out. See, I pull very strong. Grab is not moving. Okay, grab is not moving at all. See, yeah, and you see the guy. The guy is behind the grab, right? So that that will be good. The benefit, the benefit of this the guy behind the grab for Solatro is that number one you get the longer tunnel. If you put the grab in the screw in the front, you get a short tunnel. You can imagine front and back the side the length is different. Number two, the screw will push the grab to anterior medial, and your grab will be more oblique. Will be more oblique because. If you put the graph to a uh, screw in the front, you put the graph to lateral. You can get the lateral wall impingement. Okay. 那我现在看到导针是在移植物的后外分，这个是非常理想的，起到几方面的作用。首先呢，胫骨隧道的前内分和后外分的长度它是有一点点偏差的。那我们是把移植物偏到前内分的话呢，前内分的隧道是偏长，所以接触面就多了。那另外呢，这种调整可以使得移植物的方向更加斜。Okay, you hold this. I will show that. 那假如没有，如果没有这样子的操作，那移植物可能就会偏到外侧，就会就会引起外侧壁的撞击。哎啊，我那我我随心飞啊，反反也动没得，你搞不搞 ？Okay. So now you look at extensions, full extensions. 现在伸直。See. It's not impinge. 伸直检查都是没有撞击的发生。Yeah, it's not impinge. You make sure that your graph can move in the tunnel. So after you put the screw in, the graph will move a little bit too medial. Okay, that will be good. You have no lateral wall impingement, right? 一会儿放挤压钉的时候呢，是可以镜下观察到移植物被挤到内分，这个是很好的。对，呃，移植物被挤到内分才能防止外侧壁发生的撞击。You put the leg in about ten degree. 现在屈膝九十度。We don't pass on one, ah, because the door is bad. Okay, now we pull, right? And the screw coming in. We prefer one size bigger screw. 然后挤压钉正在进去了，挤压钉的尺寸呢、yeah. 是大一毫米。And posterior drawer, okay, very good. Posterior drawer, ten degree, a bit hard, a bit hard. Neutral, uh huh, okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah, very good. Very good feeling. Okay. Okay. Okay, bone soft. The bone is soft. It's good enough. Okay, our mallet has done it. Con. Okay, good. Con mallet cam. Trace. For this. Good. So when you turn the screw in, I will knock down a little bit. Come on. Come on. Okay, very good. Yeah, yeah. You have to do this, otherwise your guide will be broken. Okay, a little bit. Yeah, because when you turn the screw in, sometimes the guy stays get angulate. Because you know, sometimes the guy stays get angulate. Because when you turn the screw in, sometimes the guy stays get angulate. Because when you turn the screw in, sometimes the guy stays get angulate. 
Very good. So very nice construction. See? And you see that the orientation is nice and also you have no impingement also. Right? Okay. So that, that's the benefits of the ultra button, right? Okay. Yeah. So I think the benefits of ultra button is number one, you you can drill with the short femoral tunnel. Okay. So you know, that you can just go go so that you don't need to be long, you can. And you can customize because the uh, the end of button loop is jump every five millimeters. So you have 10, 15, 20, but if you can, you want to go between, you cannot, right? So the outer button, you can get in like 11, 12, 13, 16, it depends on you. It's not jumping every five millimeters. 而且跟Endo button相比呢, Ultra button还有另外一个优点的, 因为Endo Another benefit is one fit for all. You don't need, you don't have problem with the stock. Sometimes you want this number, but it's not available. So this ultra button is one fit for all. 而且因为Ultrabutton的线环长度可调节,所以一号就通用的形号就可以了,这样库存也比较好,存一个通用号的就可以了,不像Endobutton的每个号还要单独看一下它要存多少个,有时候那个号没有了,又有点麻烦。
，神兄，外事办一办后脚，有兴趣吗 ？OK， Doctor Ben Chao， Yes， 呃、uh, ，Thank you for your nice、uh, presentation and、yes. the benefit not from it. So I have a question. You know, you made the tunnel,、uh, whatever in the femur or tibial, all nine、uh, millimeters. Is that、yes. so? Yeah, yeah, right. So,、uh, because we made the you know uh, uh, graft often, well,、uh, for example, the one end is、uh, nine millimeters, another end is、uh, seven millimeters. So、yes. we always,、uh, according to my opinion, you can make the、uh, maybe nine millimeters femoral tunnel and、uh, seven millimeters tibial tunnel, and yes, and. In your condition, you 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 have to make the the same size tunnel, all the nine millimeters tunnel. You know. Yeah. So, so most、uh, of the time, my my techniques, I flip the graph. Ah,、uh, most of I put it eight strands, eight reconstructions. So、mm -hmm. the tibial side is always bigger than the femoral. So let's say you have femoral nine, the tibia will be ten. It's always one size bigger. Right in my in my、uh, practice, in my opinion, so rarely that the tibial size is smaller than femoral side. Yeah,、so、is this but, always like that in my practice? But you 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 know that that's the small one uh, graft uh, in the larger、uh, tunnel. Yeah, you think is it appropriate? Ah,、uh, no problem because I think if you have a big size graft, the tunnel is always big enough. So our biggest. Graph is for the tunnel is twelve millimeters, in the、okay. big size American. So no problem, you can feel the footprint using twelve millimeters graph in the tunnel. That's pro. That's no problem, right?、Uh, do you so, think uh, uh, what I do is good? That you know I can change the.、Uh, I can、uh, you know insert the graft into the、uh, femoral tunnel, tunnel yes, and yes. then change and transfer it into、uh, another end into the、uh, tibial tunnel and then can. I can,、uh, you know,、uh, make the best of the,、uh, the different size、Many. of、uh, tunnel. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice technique. I agree with you. You can do that way. Also, you can pass through the tunnels to the femoral first, and then to the tibia, right? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice technique, right?、Uh, I agree with you. You have、okay. that problem. You can solve the problem using your techniques. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for thank your you. comment. Okay, and then the you. second question is that you know,、uh, you you recommend the、uh, tibial tunnel is、uh, more close to the medial part, medial、yeah. compartment. So,、yeah. are you、uh, concerned that it may be、uh, impediment with the PCL? You know, the PCL is very close to the ACL. Yeah, right. So yeah,、uh -huh. uh, that's why I put the screw posterior lateral. So when you put the screw posterior lateral, your graph will push to anterior medial. You have less chance of impingement. You see here, you still have some space between the ACL and the PCL. Okay, so that is more anatomic, right?、Okay. That's my idea. Put screw、okay. really important because the screw size is big. If you put screw in the graft, the graft cannot stay in the same way. It should be moved somewhere, right? If you put the graft screw, big screw in the posterolateral, the graft have to move to anterior medial. Okay, so that's my that's my、uh, point. I want to make my screw eccentric, push the graph to anterior medial. The benefit is you can get more oblique, you less, you have less impingement to the PCL, and you can get the more anatomic like the ribbon concept. Because when when you put the screw on one side, this the graph will change from round to be ribbon, right? Because of the screw occupying the space. You got okay, thank it. Thank you. Thank you.、Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. Ah, 刚才两位主任啊交流了这个隧道的问题。那因为今天股骨和胫骨隧道呢都是九毫米粗的，但有时候呢，呃，移植物可能一端九毫米，另一端七毫米。那这样，呃，另一端就显得在一个九毫米的隧道里面就显得有点晃，呃，那 Doctor Bentra 怎么看这个问题呢？那 Doctor Bentra 的做法呢，就是如果移植物比较细的话，有时候会折成八股，呃，八股移植物。然后如果两端不等长的话呢，他会把粗的那端放在胫骨侧。就是胫骨侧，比如说是十毫米的，那股骨侧就是九毫米的这个粗细。
，呃，会把粗的那一端放在胫骨，啊、呃，当然不同的老师有不同的做法，啊、呃，还有另外一种做法呢，就是两边分别去呃穿肌腱。这样就不会有这个两端不等粗的问题。那另外，今天这个 PCL 呃，这个胫骨的呃通道呢，隧道呢是比较靠内的。那怎么防止它跟 PCL 产生撞击呢？那关键就在于，呃，拧螺钉的时候，钉和移植物是有这个隧道内的位置分布关系，挤压钉是走后外分。就会把移植物挤到前内分，这样移植物呢也更斜，也会把圆形、圆圆状的呃移植物呢挤成一个呃带子状的移植物，呃更加符合 ACL 的自然形态，也能够避免 PCL 的撞击。Okay, so I'll we we show you the tunnel placement of the PCL. Okay, good. If you have enough time, okay. So good. We go to 90 degree again. Okay. 好，接下来呢，呃，刚才做隧道通道的时候呢，已经做到了 PCL 需要的那些通道。Okay. 那今天时间还比较多，我们继续。So look at the PCL. The PCL attachment is very wide. It's like the fan shape. So if you have PCL, you need to preserve the lamina. This is the AL and the PM, right? So our PCL, I identify the cartilage, and I find this. Okay, we we'll go about ten to ten o'clock position. Go. So that is our tunnel for the PCL, and we put it very close, very close to the cartilage. PCL 的重建，这个 PCL 的指点呢比较宽，像扇子一样贴在上面的。那 PCL 重建呢，我们呃选点要呃先找软骨。再去找它呃十点方向的这个定位点。Okay. 然后要保护 ACL 的残端。Okay. Good. I will not touch my, I will not touch my femoral, uh, bundle at all. I make a bleeding here. I make a bleeding on my PCL because I want the PCL, the new one, and the new PCL to heal each other. We make a bleeding surface here. But 老师 no breathing, okay? <laughs> 那我今天呢要在啊、uh, uh, PCL 上面呢，呃形成一个出血点， yeah, 因为手术的时候呢是要这样形成出血点来促进愈合的。Okay. 不过今天标本老师应该没什么血。Okay, good. Now, after this, then you go to the back, right? Like I show you here, the switching stick. 然后用交换棒。Yeah,、uh, we working separately, front and back. So here, yeah, we have already done right here. We fold here. Okay, we coming from the back. Hold this. Okay, okay. 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 So we get in again. So we will separate front and back, right? I working from the back. I working from the front, and then we connecting, right? Good. There's some swelling in the back. 那前后呢本身是分开的，但我们今天做通道的时候已经，呃，前方后方分别处理，然后再打通。Okay, shiver. Water. Higher, higher pressure. Water. 水压再高一些。水压，水没了。没有水了，谢谢你们。Lisa, I studying Chinese now, so next time I will speak Chinese to you. Goodbye. Ah, so next time you be jobless, Lisa. Bye. I can speak Chinese. We don't need Lisa anymore. <laughs> I'll go to the shoulder. Ah. Uh? <laughs> Water. Now, so? Joe Tian Cai 老师呢是买了个翻译的呃机子，就可以学中文。<laughs> What are you talking, Lisa? 
I said uh, you bought a uh, mechanical uh, translator uh, that you learn your Chinese. <laughs> okay, good. So now we follow the track, right? Here, it says follow this. So for the multiple ligament, right? Because in Thailand, we also have no outer guard. We did a study for the pulling longest. We have the now nearly 10 years of follow-up of the patients. So we did the... Oh, you need to translate. I'm sorry. So I use fullness longest for multiple ligament. Lisa, please translate. Yeah, I got it. You got it. Oh, I 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 got it. Like that, the same way you do the PCA avulsion. I also did the same exposure. Okay. 那方法呢？这个原理跟 ACL 重建是差不多的，也是要显露足印区。You see that that is popliteal muscles, right? Mm -hmm. 看到了锅肌。And you see that here, the PCL start to change the angles. Okay. 看到了锅肌。Okay. 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 So that is our entry point. 就在拐点的地方 ，PCL 拐点的地方就是我们通道的位置。Are you patient? So now we are ready. Good. How am I? This one. This is how many young now? Okay, coming here. I show you. Here I have. See here. Here, yeah. Okay. In the part that is the uh, popliteus muscles. Okay. So here, what chi popliteus muscles? Okay. Yes. So you have the name of every muscles. What is hamstring, Lisa? 过绳肌，过绳肌，过肌，过绳肌。ACL， about ACL。前桥插韧带。Oh, oh so long, my god, <laughs> my god. Come on, about, you are learning Chinese. How about PCL? Oh my god. OMG. Okay, stop. So now you got that, right? Yeah, you look looking for the center. This is center. Between, between the medial and lateral femoral condyle, you see the center, right? Yeah. So you go to the center, okay? Aiming device. So from this view, you can see better. And this is my aiming device. Actually, this is for the femur. But I modify this for the tibial side. Yeah. Someone say. Are you crazy? Yeah. Someone said, but I think this is better for me. But I think this is better for me. Now, I'm going to measure the pressure. Okay, can you give me the artery? Okay, it's always worked well. Because we did all along, so we start to swell it. Our artery can actually dilate a little bit. 血管前有吗 okay. ？OK。完黑黑了呢，黑。大力大力，公公。白糖没开吧？哇。Help。OK。Very nice。开吧。Let's see. Okay, good. Yeah, perfect. So we go this way here. And easy. You just remember 65. I use 65 for everything. 六十五这个数字呢，我做膝关节是经常重复出现的数字。Here, this is on the here the. Lateral femoral condyle, hold this. 
And our, yeah, we put to the center, go. Center. Because you want your PCL to be, yeah, cross to the center. Because the central bone is stronger. Yeah, now you're measuring that the, uh, the, the depth here should be equal. Here and here should be equal. So you're not going too deep. Okay, what else? Oh. Actually, it's mid nephew they have the stopper. Okay, now, good. Uh, you see here, we already measures. Oh, oh, you can tap. So, very important, you need to have. Under vision. Coming. Uh, See? Very good. Yeah. Precise. Okay. Precise. Good. Good. You need the sharp pin because sharp pin will not slip. Okay. Careful doing the P cell. You use the, not the sharp pin, it can slip the cortex. But this is the most. Okay, here, and then I protect the tip of my pin. Okay, protect it. Okay, rimming. So I put in the center because the, you have no second killer turns. Because if you come from medial, you have another curve, right? You have a two angle. You got in this way and you got in this way. So the direction will be like this and like this. So you come from the center, you go this way, okay? Another thing is the central bone, the bone quality is good. It's good for bone quality. So you can get a very strong fixation. Okay? Because many times the PCL is happening in the trauma patients. So those trauma patients, they always have soft bone because they have uh, tibia fractures, femoral fracture, hip dislocation, and immobilization for a while. So this kind of patient would have the soft bone. 那我做PCL重建的时候呢,进骨隧道是在中线上面的,尽量偏中线。第二个原因是中线上面的骨质比较好Actually, if you have some tape or something, I can show you the gut passage. Huh? Kitty, you have some uh, shoe rest or something that you can show you the gut passage. So they can understand. Yeah, something like. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe hold this. Maybe you can use this. Maybe
Okay, good. Mình gật kiến mà lên. Okay, good. Áo, chào. Có lạ. Có lạ, vừa lại lạ. Đấy, có lạ. So then we pass the suture in. We use our suture mà? Maybe. Try. Ah, that's good. Made in paper. Ah, that's good. That's good. What is that? Two rest. And the... Ah, okay, okay. That should be fine. Huh? What is that? There you, there you. What is that? I'm not going to be able to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. So we take this pin out, okay? Suture retriever. Okay, we put this in the tunnels, like that way here. Let the fly. Yeah. Hold this for me. Very good. Come here, I'm not moving. Okay, good. Okay, you hold these sutures. You hold these sutures. Okay. Okay. Then we can lift this out. So now we switch to the front again. Switching stick, ma wila. Switching stick again. We single lot. Hey, amalu. Every time you get out, you need to put this in. Okay. 每次镜头出来都要先放交换棒。Okay. 哦，这个可以，这个好，这个好，这个好。Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, it's good. This is very good. Right. Okay, good. So now you have this, right? Suture retriever. So Professor Adinan, he is pushing this to the center. So you can... Before you look, you look on the door. It's your card. It's your giant coat on air, right? Okay, here, you take this out. Very good. Ah, uh, we nah, this one, okay? So this way, okay? Good, lock it, we lock it. So now you go between A cell and P cell, right? The next step is to shift your camera from here to the middle side. Okay? And we already marked the tunnels. Okay, here. So that is our mirror tunnel. Okay. So I prefer to put my tunnel very close to the cartilage because when you pull the graft, your graft will pull to the back, right? And that is the okay. I will put it close to cartilage, and we are starting from the smaller side first. Same like ACL. Okay. PCL 的胫骨隧道，呃，股骨隧道呢，跟 ACL 的是比较相似的。这个原则上来说，也是从小转开始，然后靠近软骨。注意看我手上。I push like this, okay? Not this way because you get another killer turns, right? So I put it this way. I try to push this way. Make it more vertical, right? Okay, go. 让体内的部分呢就被翘向前方。这样啊，防止增大杀杀手拐弯。嗯哼 ，OK， good。来，哦 ，So Sam， 哥 ，What's the time? The time is about 四十，四十。这个隧道呢有四十。OK， 四十。Out。再来个，再来个。OK， the catch。看钢板。Hold this for me. OK， shiver。OK。
so now you finish. You see that we don't need to go through the the center. We separate our posterior and anterior. Okay, so that easier. Because looking from the front using nibble. Two sweat Step dreaming. 20. Okay, good. 20. Okay, good. And good the suture, huh? How do you sip? Okay, good. So now we put another suture, different one, okay? Full. Yeah, different colors, okay? This is different colors. And then I shift my camera from medial side to lateral side. But I don't Okay, now we go to the medial side. Okay, give me the suture retriever. So the next step is we will retrieve this green, okay, the P cell green and the purple. We will check for that. Okay, go keep here. Okay, so jugger green. What is green? Chinese. Blue, sir. Purple? Ah, the sir. Blue, sir. Okay, take it out at the same time. Okay, and then now we this is for femur. We lock it for femur here on the condy like that. And this is for the femur, but now it's in the same hole, right? <laughs> It's in the same hole. Same like you have the cannula, right? So the next step is we will pass the graft. Actually, we pass the graft into the tibia first for the normal. But this is the uh, outer button. We pass into the femur first, okay? Good. Then we the Okay. But if you use the loop, I will pass into the. Okay, go. Very good. There. Okay, full. Full, full. Very good. Full in. Full in. Very good. Okay. And now looking for the button coming. Okay, pulling in. You see button coming? Button coming? Very good. Okay. And now, okay, going, going. Okay. And now you follow this button. Okay. Okay. Follow. Slowly. Go, 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 go. The problem of the PCL is many times you pull the button too deep. It's more common than ACL in my practice. Yeah. So sometimes, yeah, okay. it's getting out, right? Yeah, yeah. So now you flip. Okay, first you slide the suture, okay? When you slide and you feel there's no resistance, that means the button is outside the bone. If the button is still inside the bone, you can feel some resistance. What sutures? You can do it. I need it. Okay. You slide both sutures, okay? 
and then you flip. Take these two sutures and flip. 然后呢，就拉着踏板两侧的线去拉它。Flipping, good flipping. Okay, good flipping. And then the next step is pulling this one. Okay, in. Very good. 然后呢，确保踏板已经在体外了，就拉中间的花线。Okay, very good. Going. Up is coming. Very good. Xian Yong Zhi Huan. Is the problem? Okay, it's coming. Is the problem? No. No. Let's go. We will shake, shake, come my. So, when you put this one, it will be equal. Okay. Okay, putting oh. out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. No, no. Okay, oh. good. Okay, good. Now it's coming. 这就是移植物的示意。Okay, get in, get in. Little, little, little. It cannot anymore, okay? And then you tension to make the suture, okay? Make the suture, all the suture in, in tension, right? Because when uh, you get in at, at the beginning, some suture will climbs its legs. So after that, okay, you make the, this one and then you pull, see? It's not coming out, right? 然后就呃，近端是线条的牵拉，拉收紧，移植物进入碎片。然后移植物远端往下拉，确保它已经固定在线上。So we suture here a little bit. We suture first. Then we pull this in the tibia. Okay. It's nice. Okay. And then after we hold this, we pass the your sutures into the screen, right? The green we pull is down. Here, this one and this one is already in the same portal. Okay? Because you retrieve the suture at the same time, right? You need the stronger sutures. I think we put two sutures, otherwise can cut through. One more suture, one more suture. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. One more suture. Is there a gun? Is there a gun? Oh, no, no. This is the one. Is it okay? Okay, good. Okay, good. อ่ะหมุนหมุนรอบซ้ายขวาเลยขวาอันนี้ถือกล้องให้ขวาอันนี้อันนี้จับนี้จับนี้จับนี้โอเคยูแคนโฮลด์ดิสเวย okay, 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 okay. and then go around Because uh, you need a very strong sutures for the PCL, because many times the PCL you turn the screw. Okay, because the part of PCL I want to put the screw very deep inside the joint. PCL的移植物呢，远端也是要多用呃线去缝好，因为在固定的时候呢，我放的螺钉会拧得很深。Okay, okay. good. This is the outer tape. Outer tape from the smith nephews. You have that in China? You, your outer tape. Outer tape. Outer tape. Yeah. Outer tape. Outer tape. Yeah. So now, we just... Hey, China. Okay, good. So now you put this in. You put this in. Okay. Okay. Then I need to help by pushing this in. Okay. In already. Go oh, full. Put down. Put down. Okay, very good. 
วิดาวอะไรหนึ่ง so the way we pull we turn yeah we pull this way you look at this right and then we slowly turn yeah yeah that would be better and you put something to protect the skin yeah oh turn 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 okay good coming on my coming it's coming it will go slowly right like you're turning the pulley getting out in, in, in. Very good. It's coming. It's coming. Very good. Now. Very good. Okay. So now I switch my camera. Oh, a little bit. Here. So that will be follow your PCL graph. You see that? Yeah. yeah. And then actually I will put my guy in here into the tunnels before that. But I forget to show you. Same like ACL, I will put the guy in first before we put the graph because you will not cut the graft. Ah,刚才太专注这个移植物的处理了，忘了先放导针。这个跟刚才ACL重建的时候的胫骨操作是一样的，先放导针，才放移植物。反过来的话就容易刺伤了肌腱。Okay, here you see that the PCL here or the TBL, see? Is nice attachment, same like PCL, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, here. So now, then you put the guy in. Uh, yeah, okay, here. So if you have the long, we prefer the big size screw and longest screw. The longest screws mean if you have, this is 35, right? I always use the 11 or 12, 35. Big size screw, very strong. Okay, because uh, the and also I prefer to put my screw close to the joint because you eliminate the effect of the killer turn. It's like you do inlay surgery because if you put it here close to this cortex, you still have gap moving inside the tunnel. Okay. 那 PCL 固定的时候呢，胫骨侧固定呢，我会选。啊，比较长、比较粗的螺钉，比如施乐辉在泰国最长的挤压钉呢有三十五，那我会用这个三十五乘十一的螺钉，而且呢要拧得很深，让螺钉呢接近关节面，这样固定点就比较靠近端，就更加好。那如果拧得不够深，呃，太浅的话呢，这个固定点就太低了，就容易引起肌腱的微动。So tension the graft. So if you have the isolate PCL injury, I will do the entry drawer. But if you have both ACL PCL, we prefer to do tension both at the same time. Okay, and tension the knee in uh, zero degree extension. Okay, but if you have isolate PCL, I will do entry drawer because you have intact ACL. Okay, good. Now PCL the 固定的角度呢？呃，单独 PCL 跟 ACL PCL 复合商的固定的角度有点不一样。如果是单独重建 PCL， 没有其他韧带伤的话呢，我会在屈膝九十度施加前抽屉力量的情况下拧这个挤压钉。那如果是 ACL PCL 同时重建的话呢，我就是放了一两股移植物之后，同时拉紧两股移植物，呃，屈伸活动关节。若干次之后，在伸直位固定 ACL 和 PCL 的移植物。So you see, can feel that the bone is this area is stronger. It's better than ACL. See, you can feel it's much better. This feeling is 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 much better. But if you have the longer screw, you can put the screw close to the joint there, okay? So I try to... Here it's coming. See my screw? It's coming here. It's coming here, my PCL screw. So... Okay, now, maybe I want to go back. So, the screw is coming. 
So we prefer to put the screw. Oh my god. Yeah. You see the screw is here. See? see here? So this is good. This is good because you will have the very stable fixations because the you have no movement at the tunnel, in the tunnel. And also you can use the short graft. Short graft you can put the longer the screw inside. If you put here, you need a very really long graft. Whenever you have long graft, that means you have slim, very really thin graft. Okay? So that, that's my prefer. I prefer to do it this way. Okay? Okay.那这样做的好处呢，在于固定更结实，这个移植物在隧道里面呢就更加的稳定，更加少微动。而且如果移植物的长度是比较短的话呢，那这个呃往生拧的方法就更加有益。Okay, good. Any questions from the floor? 好的, PCL 做的差不多了，现场的老师有没有提问呢？ Okay. 啊，没关系，我们一会儿会回到现场的，我们现场提问更加直接。Uh, we will do the Q and A when we are back. Okay, good. So we finished, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Minister's repair. Okay, okay. Uh, Minister's repair. Okay. Okay, good. Chevrolet. Okay, good. 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 再花个二十来分钟，演示一下半月板。So we do the meniscus repair using the show meniscus repair. Good. Okay, good. Ram or root. Uh, actually, good. So now we're getting to the back, right? Let me do the meniscus repair. I'll be pairing the fast fix. Huh? Uh, some soon. So that's it. That's really nice. ACL and PCL, see? I'll turn out ACL, PCL, Chong Jen, the Pizza Hall. So we go to the figure four positions, cleaning some soft tissues. There's always a lot of fat tissues in front of the meniscus. First, you need to have the good exposures. Remove some fat tissues, the careful the cartilage. 那要做半月板手术的话，呃，本身应该会有一些软组织和脂肪这呃挡住视野，所以要清理一下。但清理的过程呢，也要保护软骨。Okay, now you expose the meniscus. 好，看到半月板。So very common that you can see the meniscus tear at close to the uh publicus. Tendons, right? 
And also, sometimes you have the. 地方呢是发生在锅鸡附近，所以从锅鸡啊开始检查是比较好的方法。Yeah, and many and and so common that you have the make a slow tear here, radio tear close to the stump, right? Combined with the ACL injury, right? 那有时候呢是根部的放射状撕裂跟 ACL 的损伤连在一起。So what we have to do is here. Okay, blue. Okay. So this is the public test. Okay, we figure for a little bit. Push. Okay. So you can see underneath this. This is the. Public test tendons, right? 看到锅鸡腱。Yeah, this is public test tendon, right? Blue. So this area is the is a free zone. It's starting from here. You can see that here, blue. You can see here from here there will be no no capsule stop. You can see here. So that you have to repair is from starting from here. But you can skip this area. You can skip this area, right? 那哪里要修补呢？就呃，按照呃，跟进来的属相去判断它有破裂。But some surgeon also recommend that you can repair if your meniscus is very unstable. You can repair your meniscus to the public test. It's not it's not that bad, okay? But what you have to be very careful is that the public test is be behind the public test is the artery. If you come from the same portal. So you come from the lateral portal, you go direct this direction. This is the location of the artery. So if you repair this area, you have to be careful. So that's why the God bought this properties to protect the vessels for us. Okay, but if you repair this area, you'll be safe. Okay. 锅基后面呢是有血管的，所以如果呃像刚才那个呃射频。放的那个方向呢？呃，再往后面穿呢是有血管的。呃，有一些医生的做法呢是把半月板缝在呃锅基上面，这个本身是没问题的，只不过要注意它后方有血管。So here you go this way, okay? So this is very really useful. This is the uh, the half pipe or the slot cannulas. 那手上拿的这个呢是开槽的套筒，相当于滑板那样子。Yeah. 很好用。So you identify your public test is there, okay? 先找到。Identify this capsule is there. You see? So that the end of the public test. So you can start to repair from this area, okay? 就在关节囊和。Uh, like this. 锅基移形的地方就能判断从哪里开始补。So use your uh half pipe or the slot cannula to be like your retractor. You can retract a little bit, okay? And the way to go in, you need to go like this, okay? Slide it. 这个滑板的作用呢，就像是个拉钩。然后 fast fix 进去的时候呢，尖端朝下。Okay, move a little bit. 有滑板保护。Then I will catch the capsule. 进去之后呢，是先穿到关节囊。On here, okay. Here we try to make it vertical mattress, okay. 我们准备做个垂直入室的。So from here, yourself, because this area is self, right? Or this way. Okay, and then you push, right? And then, okay, we drag this out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and repair. We try to make it vertical because this is stronger. Okay. This way. 形成垂直入室缝合，垂直走向的布线呢就更加结实。Slowly put it in. Okay. Then you kick. Maybe they haven't done. Then you kick. Okay, good. Okay. 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 Okay.
it's not getting out. Oh man. Sometimes getting out? out. Oh no, not getting out. If the, the problem is this is this bend a little bit. You you can get the problem is not kicking out. So careful do not make it bend, right? And, Feeling is bad. Hmm? Oh man. Getting out? Out. All right. It's out now, right? Stop. So the trick is you have this two sutures, right? These two sutures. So you pull one sutures. 调整的时候呢，是可以对准其中一条，然后先勾住，然后呢？So you see the suture running. This one is running, right? 就看到线有在动。Okay, this one is running. So you pull the running sutures because if you pull, 认出哪一条线是活动的。If you pull right away, sometimes you can cut through the tissues if the tissue is not so good. So this technique is like 拉的时候要先辨认哪条线是活动的。You slowly do this way, okay, to make it. Tension, both sutures, right? And then you can that way. So you come, if you want to go this way, you come from the opposite side, right? And tension this way. Slowly go, slowly, okay? Slowly push that way, okay? Until you satisfy with the tension. Then I leave a little bit. Not too close, okay? Leave it like that, okay? Good. So this is the uh, posterolateral. So now you're coming to this area. Let's say you have the uh, lamp, uh, the radio chair, okay? So you switch your camera. Switch your camera. Switching So you come from here. Okay, here. But if you have the no ACL, it should be easier because ACL is block your view, right? Sometimes it makes the joint very stable. Because today so uh, okay, yeah. So this area, okay? So, uh, So here, this area, this is a radio tear. It's always this area, okay, the radio tear. Okay, okay good. So I repair the under surface first. Have, yeah. So when you repair, I recommend you, if you have the complete tear, we need to go what surface, okay? This is under surface. You go to the meniscus that way. Hold this for me. Okay. And you slowly hold with two hands, okay? Because you push by one hand, your uh, fast week 360 can be bent, right? It, it bend, you cannot kick out, you cannot shoot. 用360的时候呢, 最好, 最好是一个手拿着手柄, the one, right? the second one, uh, we're going 这样防止它折弯, cross to... Okay, second one, we're getting close to the in the capsule underneath, right? Like that way. Okay, and then... 第二针呢是要扎到关节囊. Okay, that way. Sutra retriever. So, recommend you, if this complete tear, you should repair upper surface, under surface. Open. 如果是完全撕裂的话呢,上表面,下表面都要分别这样子缝合。if you only repair only one surface, the meniscus will be flipped. Okay? Right? This is the leading sutures. Right? You find the leading sutures, this one, right? This one? Okay. You pull this one. 
okay position two so you will be slowly get in like that okay see otherwise uh, sometimes you, you pull and you pull too strong is your your anchor will get out and get out so this is a trick to make your both sutures in the equal tension and it's safe to your anchors also right and then and you satisfy then you push that okay here good so now you cross the under surface good like that okay yeah, that's it. Okay. Another one. And the upper surface, under, upper, under, upper. When you pull, uh, repair the upper, the under will be open, right? And let's say this is like the radial chair. Okay, let's say it is always like this, right? For the lateral meniscus, you have the radial chair, okay? So now I repair this radial chair. Okay. Yeah, right. Same things, right? Okay. Here you see that's better, but we try to avoid to repair to this area, right? The public disc area. So this is you see that public disc coming. So we stop the repair from this to this. Okay, this area. Okay, is the area the public disc. Yeah. So, but if you repair, I I tell you the dancers, if you repair this. This direction is dangerous because you you repair from the lateral side and you push your fast fit from here. This is dangerous because from our yeah. You can try one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this this way, if you go here to here, right? So behind this. I mean, from lateral portal, it's close to the vessels. But if you come from medial itself, because it's away from the vessels. Okay? Yeah. 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 So the vessel is, for PCL actually is quite, it's safer than the, the uh, public test area. Because the vessels, the public artery is close to the lateral side, more than medial side. Okay, good. So we repair this area again, upper surface. Repair, okay. You go in and you turn this way, okay. Kick. Okay, that's nice. Nice shoot. Okay, we try to go this way. But sometimes after you release the posterior capsule, sometimes the meniscus can be easily pulled out. So have to be careful in the patient that have also PCL and also lateral meniscus. Meniscus, when you put the anchor, sometimes the anchor need to sit on the capsule, right? Meniscus capsule. It can easily pull out, careful. 那如果它不是单纯的半月板损伤，而是联合内外两侧半月板后方的撕裂，再加上PCL呃撕裂要重建的情况呢，那用fast So I think now the 360 is very popular in China, right? Yeah. Because the, the old one is a little bit big and also uh, this one is stiffer and easier to use. Yeah, so this one is a little bit bigger and also this one is stiffer and easier to use. Yeah, so this one is a little bit bigger and also this one is stiffer and easier to I leave a little bit, not too short, like that. Okay. Good. okay. Then for the posterior repair, 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. To see, right? Okay, okay, good. Okay, uh, bend the knee 90 degree. Switch to the, the posture again, switching stick. I try to find my posterior swollen. Yeah. I'm not sure. Looking from the front is better. Okay, coming, very good. Huh? <clears throat> Okay, that's yours. I should work from me. That's PCL, right? That's true. PCL. Okay, you can see here, fasting, right? Here. Yeah, it's fixing to, you can see here, the anchor is there, okay? Yeah, anchor is there. Okay. Okay. okay, some we cannot see very well. Sometimes it's stuck somewhere, okay? Good. Okay. Yeah. Any more questions? What time is that now? 现场的老师有提问吗？或者说还想看演示的吗 ？Twelve. Oh my God. Half day now. 谢谢你们。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢你们。谢谢。谢谢。Thank you, everyone. Thank you, the team.